One, two. Uh, one, two. Uh, one, two. Uh, yeah. Stepped into the scene in 2015, not knowing that we could make it. Motivated with the dream, they try to throw us to the crumb side. We gamers over here, yeah. Steady on a mission, but with no competition. They say kids smooth is the best spot, representing the best box. Hey, look, yes, but that's the well. So much for taking them shots. Check move got the platinum, dog. How many trophies you got? Blong will find the answers, whether you like it or not. The game and God built the squad of strong-minded individuals. A diverse collection to deliver news that's monumental. Wanna be a guest, dog? You gotta make a decision. Jimmy, I have you in the state of the cave walking in this division it's a dark day in hell yeah before you see sunshine if you can't hear me play a going press rewind this is the season when i thirst i drink wine best to get yours money because i'm gonna get mine let's play a little game i can show you my weapon will uh let's play a little game i can show you my weapon will uh Let's play a little game, I can show you my weapon, Will. Catch you slipping, I promise I'll show you how I still feel. Let's play a little game, I can show you my weapon, Will. Yo, this is the Weapon Will Podcast, featuring Black Bond, Kid Smooth, The Best Spot, Jimmy J Mega Games, Jack Move Johnny, and your host, Broken Games HDR. Yo, yo. Here. Okay. Um, so, going to warn people ahead of time. Uh -oh. it's, win it's windy, and I've already seen my connection get a little bit crazy because I can see the wires getting blown all crazy outside my place. Pause, pause. I can see the wires, you know, swaying, getting crazy outside my place. So, I already knew what it was going to be like. this. So, the connection might be... A little bit sketchy tonight, but hopefully not. Oh, then you, then you get new internet, bruh, though? bruh. Yo, what happened with that? Yeah, we scheduled. They, 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 they ain't show up. So here's what happened. He showed up, but so I'm just so upset about it. So he showed up. Pretty much, pretty much, what happened is like, um, he wanted to. They could do it two ways. They could, you know, set me up individually for Verizon, right? Okay. But what they what they rather do is because it became available to my block, they would rather the you know the engineers and the crew come and wire the entire block because if they do it individually, they'll have to, you know, wire me and then when so when somebody else calls and says they want Verizon, they got to come back and keep coming yeah. back. So what they said they'd rather do is just do the whole entire block at the same time. Um but he said, you know, they they pretty much put me in the in in the in the queue in the lineup to get that done. And he said that might be around like two months when the whole crew come up and wire the whole Oh lineup. BG, I'm did like, you invite bruh. MLB? I, I just I just tweeted I just sent you a message. I said I need his uh I need his Discord name. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I need a uh So yeah, I can't get. I'm not gonna. Bro, so I'm not gonna get Verizon until about maybe a month, maybe like two months from now. And I'm already moving, and I'm already moving in in July. So I'm mm. gonna enjoy. So what's place, the point? It's, exactly. I'm like, bro, you. I'm like, yo, y'all killing me. The place I'm going to is gonna have, uh, is gonna have Verizon. Right, so the only thing it, I get to transfer my service, but it's like it's pointless to have it here, even for the two months. It sucks, man. How do you even look up people in your friends list on this stupid ass program? You gotta type their name, man. I typed it; okay. it's not coming up. You got you. You just need to figure out them four numbers you got behind this shit. It's, it's, I don't know. He's texting me right now. Um, 
I, I, if he fo- tell, he needs to follow me on Twitter, uh, so I can just message him. Give me a second. You don't, you don't, you don't fuck with you like that, BG. I mean, it would just be easier. Right, bro. Right now, I can, my bit rate, even though my bit rate is set to supposed to be like uh, seventy five. Uh, 7500 right now it's like 15 it's like 1500 and that's because the wires are outside are 1500 what the fuck? yes that's what it said it that's what you're not gonna be able to show no you ain't gonna be able to show no gameplay no 1500 yeah. I, I might not it's go, just gonna look like a pixelated mess it's gonna look like trash 1500 that's, that's why i was i was upset man bro are you following him on twitter yeah so message him i i can't his dms aren't open Okay. I could tweet him. And... Where is everybody? Smooth oh, yeah, Mocha said you won't you be here. I forget. Smooth too busy jerking off Bethesda. Oh, Mocha not here today? No, nah, she said she won't be here today. This, okay. this Bethesda crap is crazy, man. I mean, for the people that haven't played it, that are playing it, cool. For the people that are interested now, cool. But like, you can't be going around saying that this developer is average, bad, I don't care, they're overrated. And then once Xbox gets them, now you're their biggest fans or their biggest mm-hmm. frauds. Mm. I hope you're talking about that. That's hood booger activity. <laughs> uh, shit. You're talking about smooth right now. That's crazy. I, I can't wait to move. Because we're the first are people you staying to, in I'm Brooklyn? Like, my, my your goddamn business, Bond. Like, listen. Bo- oh, shit. <laughs> listen, I'm tired of you okay, slandering are, Brooklyn. Are you, are you staying in the state of New York? I'm tired of you slandering Brooklyn. That's my problem. So you're respect, staying in Brooklyn. Put put some respect on Brooklyn's name. What? Name me something good that's come out of Brooklyn outside of the Nets. Uh, Biggie. Jay-Z. Uh, we're, we're past that now, man. What do you mean? <laughs> man, what a dick away. <laughs> Biggie, Biggie been gone for a while. I'll give you Jay Z. Okay, Biggie, Jay Z, Nas, Jada Kiss, Fabulous. Uh, should and, I keep rapper, rapper, and, rapper. Anything productive outside of music? Great music. Um, culture. <laughs> like what? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Splinter. <laughs> oh, Robbing niggas with no mask on. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> niggas said <saying> culture. <laughs> culture. <laughs> Are you crazy as hell, Peachy? I mean, hey, like, what, what happened? What happened like, the, the good things like Coney Island. There's a reason. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody really goes to Coney oh. Island. Like that, that's a. That's a. That, that's a. That's an outsider attraction, right? That's like when people from New York come to New York, they go see. They go to like Coney Island and and they go to like Times Square. Ain't nobody from New York actually goes to those. Oh, they, they said Brooklyn Skill Tree. That's a good one. Oh, oh y'all remember that? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. That was a good channel. All right, he just said he followed you. He's gonna be tweeting you. The Brooklyn skill trees. That was a good channel, man. So I'm on the top 21 things to do in Brooklyn. Let's see how many of these things that BG has done or not. You already said no it's, Coney it's gonna, Island. It's gonna no. I've, I've been to Coney Island plenty of times. I'm just saying, when you're yeah. a local, that's not something you do. What, like, what about the know, botanical gardens? Of course, I've been there. That's where I, that's where me and my wife took our uh, engagement photos. The Prospect Park. Of course, that's literally everybody has been to Prospect Park. I don't know about number four. Eat like a New Yorker at timeout. At no, we ain't, we ain't eating in New York. It's good. It's gonna say walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. Of course, I've done that. It's it's gonna say all the typical things that Br- Brooklyn flea markets. Uh oh, never done that. That's where BG yeah. getting shoes from. You might as well walk the Brooklyn Bridge. They charge my ass like fifteen dollars and another ten dollars to go, and like another fifteen on the way damn back. New York is, is such a great place, and Brooklyn is so cultured. And Bond just doesn't realize it because he is uncultured swine. Yeah, right. Jeez. You been to the Brooklyn Historical Society? Sound like some Illuminati shit. What is that? It's a museum. <laughs> 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 Yo, what the fuck? Yo, y'all yeah, sure. Oh, my okay. God. Hey, I've been to every other museum, like all the mainstream museums in New York. I, would, I never heard of that. That, that wouldn't have been. Have you been to a high speed internet connection? Wow. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, not really. 
No wonder you was getting mopped in all them fighting games. And all them multiplayer games. See, B- BG, that's an excuse you should use. You've only been playing at half strength. Man, just uh, just imagine when I when I unlock my full ability when I get to my final form. Just imagine you gonna tire out like Frieza at a hundred percent. Then you are gonna start calling people stupid monkeys. Jeez. Oh lord! <laughs> Who is more racist, Frieza, or Toby Rama? Frieza. I don't even know that second name you just said. Uh he's a new cheer. I mean, I'm sorry. He's not, he's the blue, the blue, the second Kage, who hated the Uchiha's. But at, but at the end of the day, Frieza launched a death ball at a planet. <laughs> what's up, MLD? Hey, what's going on? Not much. What up, what up? Just chilling on this, uh, losing an hour of sleep, but gaining some sunlight. But so it's all good. Yeah, oh, I hate this time of year. That's okay. It's just one day. Yeah, one day. After about a couple of weeks, when it gets warm, you get used to it. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, listen, chat. If the connection gets very, uh, very suspect, just let me know, and I will turn off the gameplay because uh, right now my connection is a little bit unstable. So, just let me know in the chat, and I'll just turn off the gameplay. Sure. Ooh. All right, let's uh let's do these intros. Um, let's start with our guest. So MLD is a you know an old school you know one of the OGs in the community. But for for people who don't know you from like ten years ago, just tell the people you know, where they can find you and who you are. All right, well, uh, good to be here. Thanks for the invite. Let's see. Well, back in the day, around two thousand nine, uh, yeah, you, you know, it's the YouTube scene. It was very uh, let's 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 just say one sided. So I mean. I, I was a big, I oh, still am a big Xbox fan. 360 was like, I, I was enjoying the Halos, Mass Effect, Fable 2, all that stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, why isn't anybody online, um, you know, like, like you know, championing uh, this? You see, I'm only seeing PlayStation fanboys and PS3, like, it's like the least selling console. So, like, something's not right. So, eventually, I, I decide, hey, let's just, let's just do it myself. Like, I'll do it myself. I'll just stick my face in front of a camera. I'll speak my mind. And sure enough, like, ooh, if you guys only knew the amount of, like, uh, messages and negativity I got on the daily. But, <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. but oh, no, I, I know, because I, I still have a fair share of mine and old videos I have on my computer. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, oh, so, but, hey, you just, you just keep doing it. You, like, you let her off your back, you keep making the videos, and, oh, yeah, overall, yeah, you end up gaining some traction. So yeah, like it, it was a, it was a, so much fun, so much fun. And then you got you know like seeing uh, Black Bond uh, come on YouTube, like we're old uh, GameSpot System Wars buddies from like the mid two thousands. <laughs> so it's, it's always nice seeing like uh, you know like uh, YouTube bringing uh, everyone together like this. But uh, you know you had some time off, uh, but you gotta get back in on the action. Like it's just so much fun. Xbox is in this amazing place right now. I I firmly believe this generation will be it will surpass the 360 generation hands down like there's mm. just so much going for them right now so uh, happy to you know just see what this generation will bring the bold prediction i wonder how true setting you free is doing you know you what me and seventh were one and uh rev were what we're thinking about that too. <laughs> so he disappeared too yeah he um rev and dumar has just pretty much clowned them off the internet and seventh finished them off Ooh, oh, oh. There's a lot of infighting there, I remember, back in the day. I mean, you really can't be coming at people when you're a house husband. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> you're just you're not speaking from yeah. a position of power. I'm just, I'm just sorry. You, you can't you be acting bond. big or bad when you're sitting at home with an apron washing dishes. <laughs> you know? right, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe uh, yeah, go, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. uh, Jack, what's going on, man? Shit, yeah, what's popping? How y'all doing this week, man? Let's get to. Hey, hey, ain't nothing been happening in this gaming industry, man. Not really, man. It's not that many topics, but uh, yeah, I hope it's, you it's, got some. It, it, it'll, it'll probably be a short show, uh, unless oh, Bond no. goes on like an hour long tirade of uh, you know, getting on smooth. But it's I have. Oh, you already like, know. Yeah, it's it's not a lot of topics. Not a lot of uh, not a lot happened this week. Um, Jimmy, what's going on? 
Hey, what's up, man? J Mega Games, I'm here. Um, let's see who this MLB MLB dude is. I was waiting for a bar in the whole door, but anyway, um, <laughs> I'm here. Let's have a good show. I almost fucking choke laughing at that. I'm just going to MLB, man. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, and and Bond, what's up, man? What's going on, everybody? Busy week, but we back. You didn't even tell people where to find you. Uh, you can subscribe to the MLD's channel. Is is it General MLD? Is it Ghost MLD now? Well, the YouTube channel is still General MLD. I mean, apparently my old one is still there, but it's like I, I forgot the password years ago. But yeah, it, you'll find it. Yeah, it's General MLD. Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, yep. Follow my channel, Black Bond, Twitter, Black Burei. Let's get this going today. We don't have a lot of topics, but we should have some interesting discussions. Yep. All right. So this is Weapon World Podcast, episode 273. We are on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. Uh, check out the Weapon Wheel Patreon. Go submit your questions for Weapon Wheel After Dark 273. The post is up for you to submit your questions and topics. Uh, if you support the Patreon or you support the channel by becoming a member, uh, you get access to the Discord. Um, emotes and chat badges and if you would like to submit a video to be featured uh, during the podcast just send me an email at weaponwillpress at gmail.com okay um, let's hit some quick news first uh, we're going to touch on the Xbox Bethesda stuff probably last but it won't take that long to get to it um, so uh, Apex Legends on Nintendo Switch has been deemed unplayable it's locked to 30, 30 <laughs> FPS <laughs> Uh, it's 720p docked uh, to the TV and 576p uh, in handheld mode. And Ooh. mind you, this game has cross-play. So if you play on the Switch, you're playing against people uh, people on PC that may be playing at 144 or people on PS5 and Xbox that are... I, I, I don't know if they patched um, Apex to, uh, to go higher than that on, on, on the Xbox and the PS5 yet, but you're playing at much higher resolutions. And on the switch so it's a terrible experience could you imagine playing at 540p at like 20 frames per second against somebody with a mouse and keyboard at like 4k 120 terrible it's it's terrible Oof. but i don't i wouldn't i didn't expect much and i don't know if i hope people didn't expect much from that on nintendo switch the switch pro is needed badly definitely very badly, badly. I mean, it's good for what it does, but if you're talking about getting multi-plat games and things like that, like, there's only so far you can go, and now with the PS5 and the new Xbox Series consoles, the gap is going to be further. And I'm pretty sure even if they make a Switch Pro, unfortunately, the distance between a PS4 and a PS5 or an Xbox One and a Series X is much larger than the Switch and the Switch Pro. Yeah. At the same time, though, I mean, it's just what we come to expect. I mean, Nintendo's, they're great, they're great at the games, but they haven't been really great at the hardware specs for well over a decade. <laughs> they get in where they fit in. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I can't knock them because, to be honest, it's it's a different... What's the word I'm looking for? It's Atmosphere. a different target of demographic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can turn off crossplay, by the way. You you can turn it off so you can play against only people on the Nintendo Switch to make it a little bit fair, fair, I believe. Oh, that's all right. Handheld gaming ghettos, <laughs> <laughs> literally. Uh, okay. Um, V One Interactive Studio is shutting down. Maybe some a lot of you probably have no idea who the hell that is. But they made a game about ten months ago called Disintegration. So they were a fairly new studio. This is the only game they've made. Uh, it's a staff of twenty seven people, and it was actually founded by, by Marcus Leto. He was an art director and creative director uh, on Halo Reach and some previous uh, other Halo games. But the game just didn't get enough traction. Didn't make enough money so the studio shutting down after one game you know, we hear a lot of stories about Man. this in <clears throat> i don't even know who that developer is yeah yeah it sounds like they had marketing budget problems I yeah I, it, I, I, I don't even know what the game's about like i don't know you, you know what's crazy i think i played the game but i'm not entirely sure i, I think it might have been that game where it, it plays like Halo, but you could like go through portals. You can make portals 
and, and, and go through them and end up on a different part of the map. I think it's that game. And if it is that game, I actually did play it. Um, I think it might have even been free to play. It's crazy. It wasn't very, very memorable if I if I can't even remember if I played it. But I think it's called Disintegration. Y'all want to look it up. Yeah. So. Okay. Was it console uh, or PC only? It was, I know it was on PC. I played, I think if I did play it, I think it was on PC. I can't remember ever seeing it on console. Huh. All right. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, in the quick news, so Techland will be giving us an update on Dying Light this Wednesday. So we've heard some previous rumors uh, about them, the game going through, uh, Dying Light 2 going through development hell. Uh, so we'll get an update on Wednesday what the, the Techland official Twitter did say is that uh, they actually wrote this in reply to somebody. They said that the, the definition of development hell requires the game to not... Uh, to not make any developmental process. Uh, while Dying Light 2 keeps moving forward, we announced the game too early, but it's far from being in development hell. So they're, they're saying that's their problem is that they announced the game too early. And there was still a lot of other sketchy stuff happening in the studio, according to it. No, it's taking too long. Because it was uh, that's definitely a uh, PR. Like the, the, there was yeah. some, definitely some problems going on there. Mm-hmm. Because they announced it. Well, I don't know when they announced it, but I know they released that thirty minute, no, an hour, uh, an hour like um, gameplay video that was like end of two thousand and nineteen, maybe, and then they delayed it indefinitely, and they, we didn't hear anything about it. So something's happening, but at least we'll get an official update on one. So uh, what else? So a little bit of Resident Evil movie news. So there's a Resident Evil reboot. Uh, that that's gonna that's got a release date for September third, and they uh, apparently that's gonna stick closer to the to the source material because if you remember the original uh, Resident Evil movie came out that was complete and utter trash and did not use the source material very much. Yeah, it's supposed to be based off one and two mainly, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, good, good. I hate the way the original movies like just abused the Adam uh, the Albert Wesker uh, character. Oh my god, yeah, it was terrible. Oh. Well, you don't like you don't like Leather Sue Al- Wesker? Oh man! <laughs> no, I love Albert Wesker, but in, uh, the way he was in the movies, it was just like not at all like in the games. It was, it was. so and they're going to reboot the movies, and they're coming out the Netflix series. Yeah, pretty much. Are any of these the movies? Obviously, aren't going to be canon to the game; they're going to be their own thing. A lot of these movies are canon to the actual games. Perfect. Is this Netflix series going to be the same, or is it going to be its own thing? Uh, I don't think they answered that yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. But um, I know. So the res, there's a Resident Evil reboot, uh, coming September third, and then there's also Resident Evil Infinite Darkness, which is the next animated Resident Evil movie, uh, which takes place after the events of Resident Evil Four, the game. Uh, mm-hmm. Leon and Claire will be in it, and they're they're gonna have the same voice actors from the Resident Evil Two remake. And the plot is pretty much Leon is invited to the White House to investigate. An incident, and you know, you know how it goes from there. He investigates an incident. There's going to be a whole bunch of zombies probably taking over the uh, the the White House, and he's going to kill all of them, John Wick style. That's probably how that's going to go. Well, I hope we see Ashley. Haven't seen her in a while. I, I was thinking that. That was that was that would be interesting. Ever, ever since she got shot down, yeah, at the end, <laughs> denied by Leon. <laughs> you oh, know yeah. she's gonna come back growing up. And be like, so uh, you still gonna? You still saying no? I guarantee you that line gonna be in there, or he's gonna be like, "Damn, I said no." How old was she in that game? She was like eight. She was college age. Oh, okay. I had to make sure she was trying to get my boy. I was like, "Wait, was she trying to get my boy Leon locked up, like caught up?" Oh yeah, overtime, right? Is that what, is that what she said? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then he uh, was uh, on the phone with with Hunnigan. Mm-hmm. So uh, he he uh, dropped one to shoot a shot at another. <laughs> But um, I just looked it up. The Netflix series will be canon to the series, like all the other computer animated movies and things like that. That's huh. a good thing, right? Good, good, good. Yeah. Um, the movies, they don't need to be canon to the game, in my opinion. They can do their own adaptation, their own thing. But they they definitely need to take it more serious. Like, it just looked like a bunch of cartoon. It looked like a bad Halloween party. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. She was 20 in the game. Oh, 20. oh okay, okay, okay. She was a sophomore or junior in college. Okay, 
had to make sure. All right. No, um, the PS5 uh, has become, well, the PS5 is the fastest selling hardware platform in U.S. history by dollar sales. Got to, you know, specifically by dollar sales, they announced this week. So it makes sense. Know. It's $500 and yeah. scalpers are just tearing it up. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can't get that shit anywhere. Yeah. So people got to be, remember that, like, what it's, it's, this is basically a, a statistic of of made money. It's not necessarily how much has been sold, but how much yeah. money it's made at the price point. So, good for PS Five, even though you can't even get one for anybody, right. unless you're a scalper. Yeah, is, is the scalper thing still like happening right now? Yeah. 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 Oh my god! Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a Wii situation. Remember when they would always make the arguments back in the day, MLB about shipped versus sold? Oh anything. my god, those are so frustrating. Yeah. Like with the Wii, be... with the Wii, anything shipped was sold because it was always sold out. So that's the situation we're in right now. Any anything PS5 shipped is sold, but the problem is we don't even know how many gamers have the system. Yeah, because well, I mean, how, how much how much are we talking about? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. There, there were dudes talking about they had like thirty three thousand PlayStation fives, like ready to be scalped, just chilling. Oh wow, that many? I thought it was yeah, was like that's like, 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 like three thousand and stuff like that. Like thousands, like I thought, like, like dudes are just, like you still can't even get a thirty eight. I think it was more like three thousand. I don't think it was yeah. thirty three. I think I think it was yeah, like but that 30, was 000. one guy though. You know these dudes. Oh oh are. okay yeah yeah. But at the same time, like you still can't even get an RTX thirty eighty. I got mine in December when I ordered it in September. There's still people that have been trying to get the damn thing from September, and here we are, October, November, December, no, January, February, March. Six months later, people still can't get video cards. I, I will admit, I regret not listening to you about that. <laughs> Yo, that's why I was like, I'm not waiting to the 3080 Ti because one, we don't know when it's coming. Two, if it comes, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it, so I might as well get what I can. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Adam, is crazy. Over by January is March. Can't even find these things. Well, look, the 3080 is coming out in April. Good luck. Yeah. No, I might be able to get the regular 3080 now. Yeah, I know. All right. Um, the Nintendo Switch also won last month's N- NPDs. It won the last few months' NPDs. Uh, Switch is continuing to sell well. Um, I do th- contribute part of that to the fact that like people are still having a hard time getting PS5s and, and Series Xs. You can get a, a Series S pretty easily. Like Even I was able to like check and, uh, a few times during the week and see if you can buy one. You can get an S, but an X is still hella hard. Uh, so is the PS5, still you know very hard to get. Um, Best Buy is like doing uh, this thing where if you, when you when they send the PS fives up to to counter the scalpers, you have to add it to your cart, right? And then it like makes you wait a few minutes, mm-hmm. and then you and then you have to click add again, and then it then it'll be officially added to your cart. That's how they're countering scalpers. And I saw it worked for a few people. They were able to get their uh, PS fives and Xbox Series Xs. Okay. That's good. Uh, and uh, the PS4, uh, place only shut down PS4 communities. I don't yeah, really know. That. I don't. I don't really remember what this feature was because I never used it. I think it was like a, like a, uh, almost like, like a. You remember those Facebook gaming groups people used to make? It's it's like a mm-hmm. group. It's just like yeah, a group. Yeah, for like, so you can make it towards certain games or just your own community. So they shut this down there or shutting it down on PS4 right now. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was underutilized. People didn't use them as much, but it's getting shut down. They need to bring back the white room. Oh, no. Yeah, it's the white room. Enlighten me. What is that? Don't you remember the Sony dudes in the barren white rooms on the, the PS3? Because they have PS3? crossplay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, not crossplay. Uh, uh, what was that? Game cross ch- chat. Cross game like, chat. That was yeah. sitting in white rooms. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right. Just and just have conversations. This was before Skype, and you know, obviously before Discord. So that's what people use. S three. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So while Xbox dudes could game and use, you know, cross game chat, 
the PlayStation dudes would just be sitting in the white mm-hmm. room <laughs> doing nothing but talking and no gaming. Oh my god! I'd be oh. in the white. I'd be in the white room, but I'd be playing on my Xbox. So like, hmm, that must suck for you. You guys can't talk and play. Wow, I had no idea how spoiled I was back then. Okay, <laughs> just they had it real rough. Yeah, the PS3 was was pretty ghetto. It, it was yeah, pretty could, ghetto, man. You couldn't even send voice messages. You had to type it out. Remember? Oh. <laughs> God forbid doing anything on that PS3 XMB, like, you know, scrolling through a friends list that would take five minutes to load. It was it was rough. Very rough, man. Uh, okay, so we're almost done with this uh, quick news. Oh, so Denuvo, the anti-cheat, oh, is uh, coming to PS5. So according to what I understand, Denuvo in some form um, was already on PS5. And Denuvo is very controversial because a lot of PC dudes, uh, it's you know, it's it's in some games on PC, and a lot of people will tell you it ruins the performance and it fe- affects how the game runs. So a lot of people are looking at this as bad news. Um, so I mean, I've I don't think I've played many games on PC that uh, use Denuvo, but I definitely believe uh, you know the um, what people have said about it, even though Denuvo denies that it has any effect on how games run oh, or it does. anything like that. You damn sure do. Yep. My whole point is why I thought people didn't cheat on consoles. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and it's specifically for multiplayer. So w- what's going on? I don't know, man. Um, they, they definitely cheat on that motherfucker. Yeah. Obviously, if they had to get to that point. And then here's another thing. These developers aren't going to implement it on a, on a PS5 and not on the Xbox version. It's going to be on both. Cause it's, especially, it's, not, it's not mandatory, though. That's the thing. It's just I, I understand that, but I'm saying if you implement it on one machine, you're going to implement yeah. it on the other. Yeah. I was wondering why they really going to do that. But there's games that have cross-play as well. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's a good answer, yep. And no offense, but consoles don't really have the CPU headroom to be messed around with the Nuvo. Exactly. <laughs> it's so wait, uh, what kind Go of ahead. problems are, are are people experiencing exactly? So yeah, yeah. the 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 program is like an anti cheat, anti piracy thing. It runs like a x amount of algorithms or whatever, but it it takes up processing speed. Right. So what what does that result in? Like negatively? Loss of, loss of frame rate. Oh. It, you know what so. it does? It, per, it periodically, while you're playing a game, it checks. It, like, checks to make sure the code is intact. So while it's doing that, it's, like, literally, like, um, clunking your game down. Like, say you're getting, like, 30 frames, and it's, like, running steady, barely making 30 frames. It's going to start dipping to check the code on the game, like, to make sure you didn't inject any codes in it to cheat. So that's what it's doing. It's checking the code. So periodically while you're playing, you might see dips. All of a sudden, after the Nouveau kicks in, you'll start seeing more dips. So it's just periodically checking for cheats. Now, this is annoying even on PC. Now, think about this. I mean, if you're running a game at 60 and your computer is outputting like 80, 90 plus frames or whatever, you're still losing 20. You just won't notice it. Yeah. But my point is, I don't think the consoles have the headroom to afford to be using this kind of program. And, like well, they no. weren't they weren't designed to, to just say, "Oh, we're going to allocate ten percent of the processing speed to some anti cheat." And even then, why? <laughs> yeah, why, I don't why know how sacrifice every time. Apparently, the cheating online is bad, though. I'm, I'm hearing like people shooting people through walls and. It's pretty bad. Well, you know, you know what they need to do? They just need to do what I say. Look, online gaming is a business. We can all agree on that, right? Yep. Yeah. People pay to play online and people like to buy stuff and go into communities, buy skins, invest money, time, whatever. We can agree on that. Now, mm-hmm. what happens in the real world when, when you fuck with somebody's money and somebody's business? You get banned from it. You get food. Yeah, you get food. There you go, Jimmy. Not not just banning, you get legal action. And honestly, that's the only way I feel like you're going to be able to, to effectively end cheaters. These companies are going to have to make examples of people. Oh, you want to come in here and you want to fuck with my game? You want to fuck with my money? We're gonna we're gonna issue you a uh, an, some law order, a cease and desist. You are going to have to show up in court and explain why you are trying to fuck up our money. Mm. <laughs> 
I'm dead ass serious because because what cheating has been around for whatever. It doesn't matter what kind of program you make. It doesn't matter what you do. People are going to beat it. You know Hold what? On, people... I, I do have to say real fast. People who do these type of things, they love that kind of um notoriety. Well, you know what? Let them get that notoriety when they get a ten thousand dollar fine. Nintendo been giving people. yo. Nintendo gives people notoriety all the time when they fuck with Nintendo's IPs. And guess what? They don't fuck with Nintendo's IPs again after that, do they? Yeah, that's true. But Nintendo go all the way crazy with it. Though. And yo, that's what these companies are going to have to do. Because, like I said, it does not matter what program you make; people will beat it. There's some basement dwelling social reject that will beat it. It doesn't matter if it's Xbox Live. It doesn't matter if it's Steam, PlayStation. Yo, they took down the. Remember when they took down the PlayStation Network for like three to four months? Yeah, let's just yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, they, yeah, they will. Day. There's no way to legitimately prevent. And yo, even CD Projekt Red realized like you can't stop people. The only way you're gonna stop them. Is he'd be like, yo, show up in the court. And I'll be honest, that's why I don't play a lot of multiplayer games anymore, because I'm just tired of dealing with it. Yeah, it's pretty prominent now, though. Like, it's yeah, crazy. I mean, it'll, you know, cheating is, a, is never as, it's not as bad on consoles as, as it is on PC, but it definitely happens. And, um, you know, we, we've seen people, like, uh, remove De Nuvo. Uh, from certain games and we and the difference in how the game runs so we've definitely seen it and uh you know i don't know it's i don't know why they deny that it, it, that denuba affects the game i mean of course they have to deny it they don't want to admit yeah. like yeah yeah our our uh you know our service you know definitely affects game uh performance and everything like that so they have to deny it but uh, i don't know man i hope uh hope this doesn't hey. ruin any I, I mean i'm not playing any of these multiplayer games on consoles anyway right most of these so <laughs> I don't know, man. But here's the bigger thing that's happening. The Chinese gaming market is blowing up. Yep. Xboxes are getting there. Nintendos are getting there. Playstations are getting there. This Valheim game is selling boatloads. It is huge in China. And and you you remember what was happening in PUBG. PUBG. Guys like (laughs) Dr. Disrespect My Wife didn't even want to play the game anymore. (laughs) Because too many Chinese people were getting just cheating. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) I mean, look, he did it. He's got to own up to it. He disrespected his wife. But but that's what's going to happen. And, like, the the Chinese gaming is only going to get bigger and bigger. And out there, it's the goddamn Wild West. Yeah, they, 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 no, because they like it. They like the notoriety of getting away with proving they can hack it. They love that. I, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I get why because they have no, they have very little freedoms and rights to oppose mm-hmm. authority in their mm-hmm. own country. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna oppose authority in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> do what you can do. Bobby, like, like, everything fell. <laughs> but I'm serious. Like, look, yeah. if the man, if the man is beating your ass over the head and over your backside every day in life, you want to get on a game and get your revenge by any means. <laughs> You ain't gonna care about these other people. Like, oh wait, they're comp- they're complaining about fairness in the game. Yo, I live in China. Fuck you. <laughs> it's weird when people when people cheat. Like some, you know, it, you know what's crazy about cheating now? Like I think like when cheating happened back in the day, some people tried to like at least be low with it because they were yeah. ashamed. Now yeah. people people cheat and they want you to know they cheating. Like I'm yeah, not gonna yeah. hide it. Like I got yeah. aimbot on. I want you to know You're, I'm I'm fucking you over. And, and it's just like, yo, yeah, y'all don't got no shame about this? Like, no. Did you Crazy. hear about those two dudes that got banned on Twitch from that one girl reporting them? She was in their game, and they were live on stream twitching, or whatever you stream, or whatever you call it. And she was calling them out, and the dude cussed her out and said, you suck your trash, I'm getting a partnership, F you. He goes, I'm already, ten. He was like, I'm already 100 subscribers away from a partnership in three weeks, and you can't stop me. So she used her white girl powers and out and at <laughs> which and got his ass banned. I, I remember, I don't know if y'all remember this, but it was a dude live streaming on Twitch and he he accidentally alt tabbed out of the game real quick and people yeah. saw the cheating software that yeah. he was using. I, thought, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh man, yeah. not like this. That's awkward. Okay. Yeah. Yo, how about that one dude that was pretending to be paralyzed? Oh yeah! Oh, he got up. Raven, no, 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 no. cat almost knocked down the fish tank, so he jumped up out of the wheelchair. Mm-hmm. 
It said, and oh, then, I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, didn't he lie? <laughs> didn't he lie after that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. He had a glass of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shades. He had a uh, shade all. Yeah. <laughs> MLD, this guy had like 80 grand in donations for his wedding. Oh, okay. <clears throat> wow. What, whatever. What happened to that guy then? He had to give it all back. Yeah, they, and they, ran they ran a lot of it. Well, good. Yeah. Good. Okay. At least there's some justice there. Yeah, they got him out of there. All right. Okay, so move on from that. All right, so uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge uh, trailer was uh, released this week. It's already it had like one million views over a few days, so people were you know, clearly excited about this. It's made by Dot uh, Dot Emu, who are the developers of uh, Streets of Rage Four. Um, so this game is gonna have you know the pixel art environment. Uh, it's gonna have some of the classic music. Um, all of the turtles are gonna have their, uh, you know, their own um, special moves and and skills. And yeah, it seems like the level design is gonna take from a few of the different uh, TMNT games from the past. So it, it looks really good, Jack. I know you're the, you know, you're a big TMNT fan. So your thoughts on this? Um, I mean, it looks cool. I'm excited for the game. I want to play the game. Uh, like I said on Press Start, though, I kind of wish they would start doing games based on other iterations of the Turtles, like specifically the movies, the movies that came out in the 90s. I think that would make some pretty cool games. You know, Rocksteady's owned by WB Games, and WB Games literally owns, well, WB literally owns the Ninja Turtles because they bought New Line Cinema, so they could make that game if they wanted to, but I guess they don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> what, are, what is Rocksteady even making nowadays? They making another uh, Batman game. Yo. They making the Batman. Uh, are they doing the Suicide Squad? The no, they're making the school Squad. Oh and then yeah, WB I, was say, I was about to say Gotham Knights, but that's yeah, that's WB. Yeah, Montreal, they make another. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> so it may, it do look cool. You know, I kind of wish we would get off the, the the OG, you know, Konami arcade games, even though those were great games, classic games. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. I think we should probably play it. Yeah, we should do a game. Game. Right here. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm calling dibs on Donatello, though. I got to be Donatello. Oh, I get, oh, always Donatello. Well, I was Donatello. Let me, get Mikey, the time. Let me get Mikey. Let me get Mikey. Damn, I don't like so, Raph because his weapons are the shortest. So people know Donatello got the best weapon. Okay. I, 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 yeah, got the reach. Range, He's got the reach. Ranged. Mm-hmm. I thought that was common sense with everybody. Hey, man. Hmm. Some people just pick based on like which turtle they like best. But I need that. I, I like mean, Leo best, but Donatello has the best weapon. Yeah, How about Emu. Smooth trying to say, why are people excited about this but weren't excited about Battletoads? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, the thing is, it's... I didn't quite say that. My thing was is that people, you know, you know they were hyped for, you know, the, the Street of Rage look. They're hyped about these uh, the Ninja Turtles look, which is fine. Ninja Turtles is a classic and whatnot, but I didn't understand the disrespect on Battletoads, which... Was, Oh, this is the same type of game, but just it's Battletoads. Do you remember how bloody and gory Battletoads was, Smooth? Um, well, this, well, yeah, this is that is that is that reason why people think I didn't. Yes. You're, that, you're the only person that mentioned that so far. Because I'm not a born in 3D gamer. I actually played this shit in the arcades back in the day. Battletoads was bloody and gory, dismembering, chainsawing and stuff. It, it yep. would have been rated in an M-rated game if it was, like, out today back then. Yeah. Not to mention, like, the the Dark Queen looked like a straight-up stripper. Now she looks like Dora the Explorer. Yeah, they censored her, apparently. She, like, went, yeah. she went from G-cup titties to no chest. Yeah. yeah, in general, I, I just didn't like the art style. Like, this was one of those games on Game Pass where you, you beat it once and you never look back. Like, it, it was, I, I definitely played better than, like, yeah, I think, I think nothing will top Turtles in Time for me. That, that, that's always will be my favorite beating them up, beat them up. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. But uh, I didn't yeah. like the art style myself for Battletoads. It, it was just, it just didn't fit the aesthetic that I remembered back in the day. I don't yeah. know. None of, none of beat them up levels either. Too many platforming and uh, side scrolling levels. Oh, I fucking hated them platforming levels, yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two joys had me raging, bro. When the hell was struggling on the computer levels? I was, I, was <laughs> on, <laughs> nah, I was, I had somewhere to be, and I was trying to hurry up and beat it because I was streaming, and I kept making, like, stupid mistakes. Man, that shit had me raging, boy. 
Wasn't smooth stuck on like the one of the puzzles? I don't even know what it was. A no, oh yeah, that's, oh, that's cool. I ain't smooth. I don't. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna. Nah, man, it. that shit was not fucking like common bro. sense. It was not that clear, bro. bro. Oh, the puzzle stack. Oh yeah. Guys, that computer. So I don't know how you got stuck, bro. That was crazy. No, because I'm gonna be real with you. Look, so I'm looking at smooth play it right, and. I can't exactly tell what, okay, what is he supposed to do? Like, that was my thing. I don't know what he's supposed to do. I was like, I don't know if Smooth is making it more difficult than it is, but just looking at it, not playing it, I couldn't tell just looking what he was supposed to do. Yeah, because there's too much shit on the screen. It was, it, like, was te- it was telling you at the top what to do, though. It, it wasn't clear, know. though. It was like trial and error to, to, to figure it out. Yeah, it's like that thing where you have to- no, you just had you had to really kind of be patient and watch the pattern and mimic it. Yeah, but it took a it took it was just frustrating. It took a lot longer than I liked no, it because it <laughs> they started playing with it when you thought you had it. They would start changing. Oh it yeah, they had to do what you had to do more of them and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. DMNT was always, especially Turtles in Time, was always like uh, something that I was more excited about than Battletoads. I was never Battletoads. Yeah. Got this game to look for. Uh, so okay, we got some Halo Infinite details from three four three. We're gonna talk about these and then get back, get right into the uh, um, Xbox and Bethesda uh, finalization. Um, so I'm just got some bullet points here. I'm gonna read uh, some of them that three four three talked about regarding Halo Infinite. So um, the world it says so. First bullet point: the world around the ring. I will feel alive and it's going to have a, a dynamic day and night cycle that will also have a weather system. Um, day and night cycles will affect enemies that the player will encounter when venturing out into the world. For example, they say grunts sleep more at night. Phantoms have searchlights and they move around. Um, there will be no hostile wildlife at the moment, but there will be like space uh, gophers that could be found around the world. So there's going to be uh, wildlife. Uh, dual wielding is not supported in the game since the developers want to su- want to focus on the current weapon arsenal. Isn't that like a staple in Halo though? Not no. anymore. Not anymore. Really? It was think- after. It it wasn't in the first one. It added in the second one. The th- Third one, did it return? It was it there? It did. Eight hundred three had it. Yep. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I don't believe I've ever dual wield in Halo Five or Four. To be honest, yeah. Uh, did Reach? Oh, well, I can't remember if Reach had it now. Um, ooh, but either way, it's been it's been too long because I think they said it before. It just messes with the whole weapons, grenades, melee, uh, a trio. Mm-hmm. And if, if you if you're dueling, everyone's just dual wielding at each other, and no no one's uh, you know hitting each other or spamming grenades. It, it messes with the whole gameplay. So this is like one of those things where you know it's fun to do, maybe in multiplayer included, but competitively, eh, maybe not. Maybe probably just in custom games. I, I'm I'll, I'll be okay with that or, or Forge. Say let's say that. One, one of the reasons why I thought they probably wouldn't be be able to do it is because of the grappling hook is on one arm, and like how would that how would he activate that with a weapon? Like, I don't know. Yeah, that too. Yeah. It's just, yeah. The weapons grades, melee, that's always, that's, that's a, the trinity that, that they're trying to nail perfectly. Okay. Uh, yeah. There are no playable elites in the game, but they could be added at a later time. Uh, weapon upgrades don't, uh, don't make the cut, but players will be able to upgrade equipment um, items and find cool weapon variants to unlock in the game there's not any weapon upgrade i'm not sure why they would have a weapon because i mean unless they're gonna like i, I don't get it like the, the the halo weapons are sort of like standard weapons you have your default weapons that you load into the game with and then you have the stuff for like around the map so i'm not sure why that would be an option i get like potentially including like armor and gear upgrades and stuff like that but weapons would just be weird like there's gonna be like more powerful uh brs and Assault rifles, like I don't. Yeah, like the, like the Halo Five rec variants of of those weapons. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't mind finding like say those around the map. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty cool. Okay. Uh, they they're reiterating that the game is not open world. Um, it's uh, it's like hub world, I guess you could uh, you could call it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, 
there will be multiple biomes in the game. They said, uh, for example, Pacific Northwest is the primary biome, but there will be additional secondary biomes like swampy wetlands, war-torn areas, and the deadlands and things like that, so different environments. Uh, what else we got here? Um, the story will, be, will still progress in a linear fashion, but areas will be unlocked based on the progression made by the player. Uh, there will also be audio logs in the game. Um, Cutscenes are real time, so they will be affected by the day and night cycles. Banished maintain their heavy metal red war paint aesthetic from Halo Wars 2. Uh, outposts and bases can be encountered in addition to patrols, and there will be random encounters in the game. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's... Oh, the game will keep track of progress made by the player. For example, if the player is walking on foot, the encounter will be designed for mm. on foot. And if they use a, if they're using a flying vehicle, they will encounter enemies with flying vehicles. So that's some of the update around Halo. That's cool. And I like the random activities because they're in, in previous other Halo campaigns, you'll go through these like kind of drawn out like droughts where there's like nothing and you're just kind of like wandering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that would be a nice fill the void area from point A to point B. So. Right, right. Oh yeah, like it's very dynamic this way. It's, it's much better. So like not no 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 two things will be the same for both two players yep. kind of thing. All right. So uh, Halo Infinite sounded like it's shaping up to be good. I mean, hopefully you know it uh, delivers this this uh, holiday season. We smooth got that that bet riding. Yeah. Game of the year, bet riding. So I wish you the best. Move. <laughs> I'll sell for a ninety Metacritic. <laughs> oh, if it's a ninety Metacritic, it's gonna be Gotti. Yeah, got so it. I'm 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 happy with that. Yeah. I mean, like say that what Halo Five that got like an eighty four or something. Halo, yeah. yeah, Halo Four got like an eighty seven Metacritic. I don't. Know, I just want Halo back in back in the nineties where it belongs. I think I think he'll make it. I think he'll make it. It's, it's shaping up to be pretty good. Means you trying to do a super chat break? Uh yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, all right, super chat break. We got my boy Tarek Ahmed. He said he still sounds like typewriter. Two thousand nine back. I guess he <laughs> uh, MLD. I'm not sure. Uh, Ventures of New Yokio. He said hottest rapper in the crumb side right now. All right, Chief, you got it, bro. Uh. Tune Day album Bola. My oh, that's my guy from uh, PSP. What's good, bro? Bond. I think Valve and Blizzard have gone after cheaters with legal action. I think there are way too many to deal with now. Okay, we got Monkey Power. Can we get a Halo and Doom crossover? Master Chief and Hell Killing Demons. That might I've actually do of, numbers. Oh, uh, let's I've see. I've seen a lot of people ask for that. I mean, shit, they own both, and they might as well. Uh, mm. one more. We got Izzy the Gamer. He say Halo should create a mode with. The various playable species similar to that one mode they had in Gears could draw in the hero shooter crowd by emphasizing unique aspects of each covenant race. Mm. That's it. Hmm. Concept. All right. So this is this is the last topic. It's only 630. So ah! it's wow. it's yeah, <laughs> bro, nothing happened this week. We got one did nothing happen this week, man. Well, except for right. that, but... yeah, except for the last topic, which is the Xbox and Bethesda deal has been finalized, and they did a a little conference, I guess you can, you can call it, um, just to summarize, uh, you know, the whole deal and um, show Bill Spencer and, and some of the staff at Xbox uh, having conversations with uh, some of the guys at, uh, with Bethesda, um, you know, Todd Howard and them. So I'm just gonna read this quote from uh, that Phil Spencer said during. That little event uh, i think this is the most important thing he said and uh we're just going to talk about you know th this deal so he says i see it in the community i listen to the podcast and all the questions so i'm going to be as clear as i can because uh that's what i just think is fair so obviously i can't sit here and say every bethesda game is exclusive because we know that's will will be exclusive because we know that's not true there's a con contractual obligation that we're going to see through as always uh, as we as we always do in these instances, we have games that exist on other platforms and we're going to support these games on the platforms they're on. Uh, there's communities of players, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but he says in the future, there will if you're an Xbox customer, 
uh, the thing I want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ships on platforms where Game Pass is, and that is our goal. That's why we're doing this. That's the root of this partnership, and we're building and and uh, we're building and the creative capability uh, will bring to the market for Xbox customers. So let me just uh, let me just tell y'all you know what I think of it. So. As far and obviously he had to make this statement because people were saying he still wasn't clear enough as to like whether these games were going to be on you know uh, uh, on the PlayStation for example. And my stance has always been consistent with that. It it doesn't matter. Like I, I stand that by the platform that the game is on that you want. I don't care if it's PS5, Xbox, or PC. But by the platform, don't go around port begging and it shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's going to go to PS5, right? There's, if you really want to play a game bad enough, you're going to buy the platform that it's on. An Xbox Series S, even though yeah, though, even though it's still kind of hard to find, the S is easier, it's $300. So it's not like they're making it super hard for you to, uh, if you're not into PC gaming, Xbox made it real easy for you. Just, just buy the console that it's on if you want to play Starfield or whatever games. Don't worry about, you know, if it's going to go on PS5. The other thing is, I'm completely fine with this Bethesda and Xbox uh, deal, as as I've said. Um, I'm ac I'm happy about it because now it gives a, some of the IPs that I that I care about, and I know like Jack cares about Dishonored. I'm a big fan of Dishonored, Wolfenstein, Evil Within, and now they don't have to worry about money as much because every one of the sequels, Wolfenstein, Evil Within, uh, all of these. And Dishonored, all of these games, the sequels, made significantly less money than the original, right? Which is, I don't know why they're great games. And that's one of the reasons why I get mad at Smooth for trying to front run right now is because I wanted sequels to these games. And that, that's, why, that's why I was on Twitter, you know, just letting my voice be heard. Because I wanted sequels to these games and people like Smooth didn't support the games when, when they came out. But now that Xbox, you know, owns them, now he wants to run to Game Pass and now he wants to play the games when we've seen Smooth on record saying he hates Bethesda games and, and all the games they make are trash. So so people like Smooth is who I'm mad at, right? But but this Are you but this, this week? Shit. Yeah, but but the deal that you know but Xbox owning Bethesda, I'm 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 happy about that because they don't have to worry about money as much anymore they can just be creative and even though there's 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 a good amount of the games bethesda makes that i don't care for but there's a good there's a good group of them that i definitely like so now i may get those sequels and they can be as creative as they want so that's that's my stance on it. <clears throat> that's a lot to unpack there okay because I like to think that I played a healthy amount of Bethesda games before the acquisition. Like I, I played the uh, Wolfenstein one and two, Skyrim, the, all the Fallout's, all the Dooms. Well, not not seventy six. Uh, I let I let other people on Game Pass play seventy six. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, in terms of the other games, in my opinion, personally, I'm I'm personally very picky with what games I actually buy. So. Uh, the games like Dishonored or Evil Within, like, and of course, there's things like Meta. Uh, uh, maybe I'm guilty of this, but you look at the Metacritics, the scores of these certain games, and you're thinking like, is this a game that like that I want to buy with, with like with my all the you know, games that like I really collect? Like the I collect all all the Doom games, I collect all the Halo games. Well, I'm a Halo fan, so whatever. But now you got the Game Pass, and it's like a low barrier entry, so it's like, why not? There's no reason not to play it now. And then again, there's also the argument that, you know, fans of each brand, like, you, you naturally gravitate towards first party, like, just because it's first party. I mean, if Destruction All-Stars wasn't published by Sony, would anybody be hyping that game up before it got released? No. That, game, that game's dead. No. Exactly. Would people even talk about it if it wasn't published by Sony? Of course not. But no. people tend to hype up their games just because it happens to be first party. Both sides do it. So I'd say uh, Wi-Fi, just embrace it. At least with Game Pass, like you'll get the games will finally get the exposure that they deserve. So eh, that's my stance. I'm looking forward to playing Evil Within. Actually, going to start that tonight. Actually, looking really looking forward to that. You play oh, Resident Evil Two, right? Game, bro. MLD. Hi. You played <laughs> Resident Evil Two, right? Of course, loved it. Now I, I got both endings. 
There you go. W- would it make sense that if you didn't oh. look at Resident Evil 2, you would then be excited for The Evil Within, which was actually made by the Resident Evil <laughs> creator? Well, hey, that's a good question. But at the time, you read the reviews, and then I, I read the reviews and say, like, the main character was poorly written but in comparison to Leon back in Resident Evil 4. And the game had certain, like, you know, flaws. It wasn't quite up the Resident Evil 4 standards. I'm a, I, I was guilty at the time. I compared it to Resident Evil 4. And no, 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 I'm saying in reverse. Would it make sense if you did not like the Resident Evil 2 remake, but then were excited for a game like The Evil Within? Oh, wait. Well, I still don't quite understand that. But... He comparing it. Bond sounded stupid right now, but go ahead. So, Smooth <laughs> says he, <laughs> hate, he hates Resident Evil 2. Yeah. But he really? ended up okay. being excited for the evil within, which oh, makes okay, sense. Okay, well, I can't speak for him, okay? I can't speak for myself here. <laughs> it makes a whole lot of sense, but go ahead. How? I do. The, the, the dude that oh, wait, 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 wait. Resident oh, Evil no, made no, the evil within. That, yo, he, and, evil uh, within 2 plays nothing like Resident Evil 2 remake. I disagree. Nothing, nothing to like. They don't. Uh, Evil Within doesn't have that shitty ass inventory management system. They don't have their fucking uh, shitty ass map. They don't have the same. Uh, uh, like I feel like the the weapon in the, uh, the gameplay itself is in Evil Within too. It's just better. I'm sorry. They, there's no comparison. Wait, wait till you get wait to the later moments of that game and you tell me how convoluted that map gets. You can't. You can't figure out a police station. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of fault evil within too. <laughs> you yeah, just one one thing. One one thing. Is, is there like a like a uh, the one of those unkillable enemies that just keeps following you around in evil within? I just gotta know there that. Is, there is there's this woman with a bunch of fucking heads and shit and arms, and she's creepy. And you if you go to a certain point, it activates her arrival, but all you have to do is just walk away from her. She doesn't like really chase you, you just can't be within like three feet of her. Okay. Mm. Oh, I, oh, those are so annoying. I hate those unkillable things. Uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. I got to plow through uh, it. That's okay. Jack, what were you going to ask Mo? My bad, uh, no, I just want to, No, I'm just saying, man. It was a lot of... I think we even already talked about this, but <laughs> some tweets from you from like a, a couple of years ago recently. Yeah, so yeah. they, 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 they were pretty dabbing comparing them to how you feel now about yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm feeling... Like, like, all the games, and mm-hmm. you hate the game. Mm-hmm. All the games trash, but now you, you seem to be loving them, man. What happened? All right, <laughs> all right. One, <laughs> no, he didn't get me because we talked about this back in September when the whole thing was first announced. Because that's the first thing these fucking butt munching ass motherfuckers do. <laughs> <laughs> Directly on the Twitter, they use that Twitter search bar and they really post hey, something. You got to delete them, tweet. them tweets, yo. You tripping, bro? <laughs> <laughs> already so what happened was. All right, I used to target Bethesda each year because me and Anchorman V used to like, yeah. this dude used to try to get me to play shit like Fallout. And I was like, no, I don't like Fallout because I played Fallout 3. I thought it was boring. I think this game is overrated. And I, that's how I used to start. So anytime E3 would come around or some shit like that, or I see him in a party chat, I would go and we'll go at it. And then once we got onto Twitter, uh, you, it first happened on Facebook groups. Then we got onto Twitter and I used to just shoot them out uh shoot them out like that so those 6.5 out of 10 at best tweets that was from their e3 showing for 2018 which was trash it, it wasn't a great e3 show from bethesda um when i say I, I mostly avoid bethesda games that is correct but the games i was referring to were the shit like Elder scrolls and Fallout. they're big long rpgs that i've Damn. never completed so I wasn't referring to freaking aid machine games and all that stuff. I was just talking about the games that I knew them for. Like I've had experience with Quake, uh, but that was prior to it uh, them being part of Bethesda, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, like I mean, I've purchased, I've played those like the Wolfenstein games and stuff like that. Like I did, I play Bethesda's or uh, fall in love with their entire library. No, I had like I probably did went through a couple of their games prior to the acquisition. Which games? So- Wolf, Wolfenstein 2, uh, Oblivion, that's 360 days. Uh, Fallout, I didn't beat, but I played it. Um, you beat Wolfenstein? I beat Wolfenstein 2. Recent, like before oh, wow. this acquisition? Well, the one. No, yeah. he beat it after the acquisition. I beat it. It was part of my Xbox One. Uh, I did it. I bought it. No, I bought Wolfenstein in 2017. I finished it on a Series X. Exactly. I bought oh, it for the Lord. Xbox One X. So. <laughs> so, I bought so, it for the Xbox One X. Smooth. 
My issue uh, is this. He to shouldn't me, animate you. It shouldn't matter. No, it, do, it does matter. <laughs> it it doesn't it actually. Be, <laughs> M- MLD knows how I operate. I just use what you say against you. That's all I do. I don't make up things. I just use what you do against you. Mm-hmm. Now, people that are excited for Bethesda that are Xbox fans, cool. Because, you know, most Xbox fans have been playing, you know, Bethesda games since Morrowind, etc. Mm-hmm. They're happy. Mm-hmm. But you, Smooth, are a particularly yeah. different person. Yeah, I'm not mad okay. at all the Xbox fans. It, no. Exactly. Well, why are you it's, mad in general? You guys are wasting we're energy. We're not mad. We're just laughing at you. It's, it, not, just, it's, okay, not, it's, too. it's not just that Bethesda was trash mm-hmm. before Microsoft bought them. You mm-hmm. never fucked with any games from Obsidian before Microsoft got oh, involved man. with them. You even thought Ninja Theory was trash. I before didn't say they Ninja bought them. Trash. I, I said, oh, no, oh, hold on. What? No, because you're, I never said Ninja Theory itself was trash. What game were you it. making fun of? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the, I said, I, I didn't like the fact that Hellblade combat was too far in between. But when you got it on the Series X afterwards, no, when I got it on the I got Hellblade on the PlayStation. I had it on the Xbox One. The, the, the Hellblade came um, Xbox One before Xbox even acquired. When did you be, when did you beat Hellblade, Smooth? When did I beat Hellblade? I beat it after um... Microsoft bought them. Before then, oh, you were no. talking crap on oh, it. That Xbox no, acquisition no. sauce, man, make my, everything taste my better. Energy, <laughs> my energy for Hellblade, I like I played through Hellblade. For, I got through. I was only. I had one more thing to do. That's when I finished it, and I only did that to, to fit it into the year for, for games beat. I had one more thing to do to finish the what, game. Question. I got a question. Um, when when did they add uh the these these uh Bethesda games? When did they add them to Game Pass? Friday. Yeah, like yeah, two so, days ago. Couple. So okay, days Evil Within and and and, and Wolfenstein they weren't in there before Friday. I think yeah. two was, but one wasn't. Wolfenstein. Two was in Game Pass before. It's not in there now, and it's not a part of this twenty uh, games list. The old Wolfenstein's, I think, I think Old Blood is the only one they just recently added. I think the original one was already in there. Evil Within wasn't in there at all. Evil Within Two wasn't in there. The only reason why I have yeah. Evil Within Two because I bought, I bought Evil Within Two, and I told you guys why. Never I beat it. it. No, Evil Within was another game that I bought for like when I was bought the Xbox One X. It's like it was Wolfenstein. It was even within because I bought them because I knew they could, they were hit targeting like 4K and whatnot. They look good. I wanted some um, new games uh, to, for the Xbox One X. I just I told you why I dropped you within. I got lost and I got scared. <laughs> but 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 you're saying that the map is no. easier than that small ass police station. Because no, the thing is, that no. what you have to do is it is easier than Resident Evil because I I at least progressed. I at least I at least progressed in Evil Within. I just don't. Oh, the thing is, that this I have to shit go is crazy. Find, right now I'm stuck in the area where I gotta find like something to finish off a weapon so I can open a, a safe house. So that's all. all right. yeah, well, I, I've I w- noticed a lot. Let me. This is my final word on this. For I've noticed the thing about Smooth. You know, most people play games because they're excited. They want to have fun. They enjoy it. Whatever. Smooth yeah. plays games because they get a graphical update. Yeah. Microsoft buys them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, uh, no, no shame, no shame to do that. I, I, I advise everyone to do that. You know, if you you want something to look better, buy when it looks better. You want something to, uh, uh, you want to play something when it's free or cheap, buy when it's free or cheap. Don't listen to all these fucking like these like these gold chain dudes or these dudes who who like cap. Oh, I spent seventy dollars for my game. My shit. Oh, good. those guys so annoy me. <laughs> yeah, no, man. No, because that's they got no choice. That's all they can do is spend con- seventy bucks. That's a contradiction, though. Why, if if playing things at the highest setting, all these mm. last five to eight years was so important, mm. yep. you didn't have to wait. You had a computer. Mm. Well, I don't. I just I'm a console gamer exactly, through and through. So it would have to me. If this is his argument. Wait until these Bro, updates and patches Bob, came. You had a gaming Bob, computer. Bob, I wanted to play these games at the highest setting. On a console, not on a PC. On a console. That's the reason. Why. <laughs> here's the, but hold on, Smooth. Here, here's the issue with that, Smooth. You saying you want to play these games on the highest setting on a console. Back in 2017 to 2019, you had no idea if that was going to be possible on another machine. So what were exactly were you waiting for in 2017 to 2019? You didn't have a crystal ball to know that the Series X was going to come out. 
Well, we knew as Newcastle was coming out, but we didn't know yeah. what the situation was going to be if they were going to get I, an FPS. Not, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's not one game that I waited for. If a game, if I either either had it, I'll finish it now that it looks better. Or if I was interested in it, now I have more of an incentive to buy it now that it looks better. All right. That's fair. That's fair to right. say. All right. You know what? Okay. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like the definitive versions to me. <laughs> Bro. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm just I feel like you guys are coming at this is how you guys are coping with the bullshit, right? I mean, some of y'all can't handle, you know, that Xbox is turning shit around. They get their, their, listen, their, they get, not, oh, no, 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 listen, let, let me say something. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. They got the all star team, right? They about to start kicking ass, right? And, and what they just do it is like, all right. Xbox got some petition. They got they they probably gonna have a an amazing year next year, right? So what they gonna do instead of since you can't say oh Xbox ain't got no games or all their games is trash, now you gonna look at all the Xbox, right? You're gonna start doing investigative work on their games played, on their games beat to now discredit the purchases that Microsoft did to bolster Xbox first party. And I think that's just more so a, a, a count is counter to pretty much people Aren't being saying excited. anything. And I'm about Smooth to bury you right yeah. now. I'm about to bury you right now easily. MLD, do you yeah. like Final Fantasy? I liked the turn based ones. I, I'm sorry, my own personal preference, I do not like the real time combat ones, which is why I'd love Lost Odyssey. One of my okay. favorite JRPGs. That's, so. that's a good point. So you, you okay. don't really like the current Final Fantasy. Now, when Final Fantasy started coming on Xbox, they all of a sudden just changed your mind. Like, hmm, maybe I want to play that. I love it. Uh-huh. I <laughs> no. tried 12. I didn't like it beyond the first missions because, again, the combat. I did try them, though. At least I gave it a try. But I like what I like. That, that's my and opinion. That, and that's the argue, That's the point right there. You like what you like. But Smooth doesn't like anything particular. The, the, the running yeah, joke yeah. Is, is that you have to spend $7.5 billion just for Smooth to complete a game. Mm. That's actually not true. Because I, like I said, I'm always, I'm always in first or second place in these lists um, on, on oh. games. So I'm not even worried about that. I'm not even worried about that. Here's the thing. His Grand Adventure. Door yeah, and shit. Did, you beat it? did you beat it, bro? Oh my god! I want to okay. take some oh. of the heat off of smooth. Well, not the heat, but I want to, you know, just uh, turn it a little bit back oh, to there, focusing man. on Xbox and you know this uh, this Bethesda acquisition. So let me just say that you know I am definitely happy for Xbox that things are that I don't see. I don't like to say things are turning around too fast, but they did the prerequisite. To turning things around, which is by which is acquiring studios, because you can't have games if you don't have studios, and that was their main problem. So they used their advantage, which is which is money, right? And they got studios. So I mm -hmm. I said it before. I said it months ago. I don't understand the people who are mad at Xbox for doing what you told them to do. You said they had no games, so they was like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll buy some studios, we'll get some games, and now people people are literally mad at them for it. That's weird to me. I don't understand that, right? Y'all yeah. mad because they they took, I guess y'all view it as they took something away from you that you feel belongs to you. But you, listen, you told them to go get games and, and that's what they exactly. did. They got the studios True. to do that. You can't Careful be what you look for. Yeah. yeah. You you can't bully them into a corner for for years. And then when they, you know, when they clap back, you can't be mad at them for how they react. They did what they were supposed to do. So I'm I'm glad for that. The only thing I'm worried about is we've seen things, you know, in Xboxes, you know, when the ball is in their court, even when it looks like a layup, this is this is easy. They got like, uh -oh. I don't what are they at? 30 studios now? So uh, 23, but 35 actual individual teams now. Yeah. Oh, OK, so I, all I'm all I'm saying is when things have looked like it should be easy for Xbox, certain things have went wrong. Right. I hope that's not the case here. And I hope all their studios which and a lot of, and we won't get anything from like these studios for, for probably another two years. But I hope everything that drops is amazing quality, even if everything is personally not for me. I, I hope they do drop all quality games of course. because it, it was like at least like it, it felt like a three, four, five, five year span, which it seems like for the most part, they dropped very mid below average games. So all I'm saying is I hope these studios actually finally deliver. And if they do, th that's when I said, yeah, things are completely different for 
for Xbox now. And the whole they got no games narrative is completely dead, dead and gone. So I, I hope it, I hope it works out. Um, There's actually some they- evidence of this, though. I mean, you got Wasteland 3. They actually added um, vo- all voice dialogue, which it did not have before the acquisition. And they were allowed to delay their game to further polish it and for bug polishes and all that, all that stuff. Double Fine, they said that they they were able to add um, all the cut boss content, all the boss fights and whatever, the right. Psychonauts 2 coming out. So in general, there's this vibe that um, there's a lot more time, creative freedom, financial security. So mm-hmm. based on the examples we have now, uh, again, Halo Infinite. Like I feel like um, Xbox, what, five years ago, they would have launched Halo Infinite last November, bugs and all, and just fix it, fix it whenever they got to it. Mm-hmm. But now I feel like this this is different now. They actually delayed a, a year. They, do, I'm, do I'm you sure think that, that them, game should have been delayed. Oh, of course, it, it, it needs the delays for polish. I'm saying the can, the old, we, can we just replace Smooth for MLB at this point? Smooth, Smooth, said, Smooth said he didn't believe that, that it should have been that delayed. Game should have been released. Well, oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm just talking myself here, okay? So, so Smooth like, was saying that it should have been released and nothing was wrong with it. And uh, that the only reason it got delayed is because whiners and crybabies cried online. Yeah, was the game broken? Was it broken? The gameplay was fine. It was the lighting, the textures, the graphics. That needed a boost. And it's, it's far easier to fix graphics than it is to fix a broken core game. So, mm-hmm. and, and again, all Xboxes, they all sold out of launch. So it, it didn't matter in the end anyway. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So and you can't oh, afford to mess up Halo. You can't. I know. Like, like, and like, this, this is my favorite franchise. I want to be the best. I don't want to be missing uh, playlists or having bugs. And even the, uh, Halo MCC, like, that game could have uh, been buggy for the rest of its life, and it would have been abandoned and collect, collect, collecting dust right now. But now it is like gained so much support. Mm-hmm. It is now like the numbers on Steam alone are so amazing. Halo Infinite is going to be huge on Steam alone, and this is like I think this is like a sign of Microsoft. They're actually like really taking their time. It, it, yes, it takes more time. You got to wait. But let's be real. The Master Chief Collection really fucked up the Xbox One. They because did, coming off the 360, all my friends were saying is, I can't wait for Xbox One. I want the Master Chief Collection. It's going to be awesome. And that game really wasn't even fixed until last year. Now imagine what we had last year came out on the launch of the... The whole generation would have been completely different. Well, I, no, I think it was good around 2018 for Xbox consoles, but it released last year for Steam, like one game at a time. Yeah, I think Halo 2 had some trouble on Steam at release, but the rest had a, be- had a better launch. But, I mean, you get my point now. Like, yeah. you got to wait longer, but th- the quality is definitely there now. Because here's also what people don't understand. When you fuck up your biggest franchise, that sends a terrible message to anybody wanting to buy your product. It does. Like if Nintendo just launched some bullshit ass Mario game, or Sony just launched some bullshit ass God of War game, or Uncharted, like whatever, like people be looking at them funny. Yeah, oh, hundred percent. Which is why I think Halo needs that delay. Like you need it to be perfect in every way. Like you don't you don't want the online chatter to be anti Xbox all the time, like it was in the Xbox One Gen. Like. You got to start off this gen on the right foot. I think so far, so good. I think we can all agree on that. Because again, you, people can argue about the lo- lack of launch titles, but again, the Series X sold out even to this day. Nobody so can get you can't really, anyway. yeah, so you can't really, that's not, it's, it's a moot point, not having a launch title. Frankly, in my opinion, I think adding EA Play to Game Pass was a much better move. Like I played five games from EA Play November, December, like just, just because it was now available to me. So to me, they actually brought the games. Sure, they were older, but I never I never played these games before, so it, it was good for me. Now, Smooth, after hearing all this, you're yeah. still going to stick with they should have launched the game. I, I still believe that Oh, God. The game, the Halo game, should have launched with the Series X. So um, <clears throat> that that's just that's just my opinion, but um, it didn't. So. We're going to get a, a better version. You're, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I like exactly. how you guys they don't take credit for that, man. They they were going to delay that game regardless. But Listen, and, and anybody besides you should take credit because we they helped you out. By exactly. Speaking up against that. If more people were like you, it would have launched. No, it wouldn't have launched. They they were already talking about delaying it before that, but they do the, the, their their usual shit 
regardless of the response, that game was not going to get uh, was not going to launch in November. Right. It would have after mm. Craig came out, that game was getting delayed. <laughs> Like three four three, like they are notorious for not meeting their deadlines, and I really do not like that about them. They cannot keep to a schedule if their life depended on it. Mm-hmm. But what? But, but once, once the ball gets rolling, though, they seem to be doing a good job, like with MCC today. But it's just that deadline that, uh, I, of course, I would have loved it to launch this November. I would like. I'm, I'm waiting for that Halo. Uh, themed Xbox Series X. Like, like I was waiting for that. I, I'm a collector, but now I'm stuck waiting now. So it is frustrating, yes, but I think it'll be worth it. Well, uh, developer can definitely. keep up to their schedule. Sony's developers always are delaying games. Oh, yeah, Nintendo's twice. developers are always delaying games. 343, um, CD Projekt, right? What? Rockstar? What what developer legitimately sticks to their timeline? Yeah, and Ubisoft developers. <laughs> I think I think it it's forgiven if the game just turns out to be good, right? People forgive it, but if, if you delay it a whole bunch of times and the game turns out bad, then I think that's you know people will remember. People definitely remember how many times you d- delayed it. Um, but question, right? So in in two t- in about two to three years, you know, with this acquisition, will the Xbox be the best place, the best console if you were an RPG fan? Yes, yes, Easily. yes. We got you got in exile, you got obsidian, you got Bethesda. Like, uh, I'm, 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 really oh, yeah, Playground, the- Playground, Playground's making Fable. That's right. They, like, they have they literally have aside from Bioware, yeah, they all the only only RPG West- games are theirs. Yeah, the only, yeah, the only two westerns they don't have is CD Projekt Red and Bioware. It depends on two things it depends on how, how many quality Japanese RPGs come out, and it depends on if those games. When they come out, do they go to Xbox? Well, that's another topic, though. We're talking uh, Western RPGs. No, he just said RPGs. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh. So, like, a lot of Western RPGs do come out to Xbox, whether they come now or later. Same with PC. But, you know, I don't know. Is, is Ease 9 coming to Xbox? Well, I mean, sure. I don't know what that is. At, at this point, you could probably just guess anything might be coming to Game Pass at this point. You know, I don't know. <laughs> But I'm saying, like, if if a, a company, for example, like Neon Falcom, start putting all like the Legend of Heroes games and all of like the Ease games and stuff onto the Xbox, yeah, it's no doubt the Xbox would win RPGs in spades. Okay, so, which is or, a very interesting turn, you know, because when people thought RPGs, whether Western or or Japanese, they thought PlayStation, but uh, Microsoft yep. getting this lock on Western changes things. And they got Sony just keep giving bags of money to Square Enix. Like that Project Athea two-year time exclusivity, that is so bullshit. Yeah. For all that, just keep the fucking game. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, you might as well be exclusive permanently. Like, who's going to care in two years? A lot of people. I mean, look at PC. They're buying up Forza like crazy right now. Yeah, especially in China. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, so, yeah, that's right. So PC, but would, would PC get Project Athea at launch? I've never even heard of Project Athea, I'll be honest with you. I think it said PC and PS5. I think everything like they announced that would be exclusive to PS5 during that uh, event, I think it was PC and PS5. I don't think any of that stuff was like PS5 only, besides the Sony first-party stuff. And you can't underestimate old games, because like I said, a bunch of um, PC dudes are buying these old-ass games that were on xbox oh, and yeah. you know when horizon and god of war days gone whatever these playstation games come to steam you know they're going to sell on pc so why wouldn't project athea yakuza or anything else coming late to xbox whether it's on release or game pass why would people just not play people are going to support it. but by the way uh skyrim prey dishonored fallout 4 and fallout 76 got fps fps boost um, well, they're getting it. Oh, it's not out yet. Okay, I thought it was out. Coming soon, they said. Yeah, we don't. We don't know when. Yeah. Yeah. So, another so, another reason to play Skyrim. <laughs> so here's another question. So people still, even though Phil Spencer tried to clarify this, people are still trying to like, uh, you know, decrypt his his wording and everything like that. So he said. Um, if you're an Xbox customer, the thing we want you to know is, you know, delivering great exclusives to you that mm-hmm. ships on platforms where Game Pass exists. 
So when mm-hmm. people heard that, like, well, whoa, whoa, Game Pass exists. Well, where is Game Pass going to exist and all this? Is Game Pass going to be on PS5? I'm like, so now y'all want Game want. Pass on PS5? Y'all looking, y'all looking a little bit shaky now, where, which I wouldn't have a problem with. But it, it's funny to see a lot of these dudes suddenly, like, you know, okay you with know it. speculate that it could come to PS5. Yeah, you bash Xbox all day, but oh, I want Game Pass on my PS5. Well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> what, do y'all think Microsoft would put it on game put uh, Game Pass on PS5? Would Sony? I don't. I think they would, but I don't Microsoft think Sony would accept would. it. It's the matter yeah, of yeah, yeah, Microsoft would. Uh, Sony, yeah, Sony wouldn't accept it though. Yeah, right. yeah it'll it'll yeah, cut. Sony ain't having it. I think it'll end up being on Nintendo in some way before it gets to mm-hmm. uh, PlayStation, only because. But they just the thing is, is that Sony it, it goes against. They also have a subscription service that they're trying to sell. It should they move away from standard unit sales, right? Um, and then Nintendo, it, it's it's the same scenario as well uh, with them. But I think they kind of like them and Xbox are more closer. So I feel like they'll. They they take you know the the select games that Xbox put on there, um like the little uh, smaller games, and then in terms of Game Pass, I think they'll have to have some sort of a curated version because there's or it has to be like streaming only since not all you know yeah Xbox Xbox Game Pass, basically. Yeah. so I mean yeah I mean it's possible will they do it I don't I don't I don't think so so you know, Sony so Sony wouldn't allow it they would do it bro look I'm a, you wonder what's gonna happen. I see this happen, right? I, I, I can see EA saying, you know what? We don't want EA play on PlayStation. We all didn't want it in the first place. We're going to take this off. And we're part of the Game Pass. I can see you be so saying, we're going to link up with Game Pass, right? It's already heavily That's rumored. Happening. That's happening. That's happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be so. so if you're going to get to a point to where none of these games are on PS now. They might even try to strong arm the games off the platform altogether, depending on how, how risky they feel it. So PlayStation gonna be strong armed into getting this fucking service, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I like that, right? Because PlayStation, you know, I'm a PlayStation guy, but PlayStation fans, y'all did to see all selves, right? Y'all yep. the same ones fuck Bethesda, fuck Game Pass, and then you, you, you brag about PlayStation lineup by showing uh, Def, uh, Def Loop and Ghostwire Tokyo. Those are Bethesda games. Y'all don't even realize that. So y'all did this to yourselves, right? Um, <laughs> no, no, and, you know, they, they, they grasping for straws right there. Well, he said legacy games, and Doom <laughs> used to be a PlayStation, so the next Doom is a legacy. No, motherfucker, no new games. It's coming to PlayStation, okay? You're going to get the new VR, they prompt. You're going to get the Def Loop and Ghostwire Tokyo. All new Bethesda games are only going to be on Xbox Game Pass, and y'all going to have to hope that they bring it to PlayStation. That's how yep. we rock. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. They brought it on themselves, Joe. They brought it because PlayStation didn't want the subscription services. Because Microsoft, even though I wasn't necessarily a fan of them changing the uh, the narrative, right, to make it revolve around this subscription service, right? Game, game Pass. Because I'm, I'm just not a fan of subscription services in general. Like, I don't subscribe to PlayStation now. Um, you know, I'm not subscribed to Game Pass. I got, like, a free year of Game Pass right now. But, like, I didn't buy it, right? I'm just not a fan of subscription services in general, unless it's, you know, for TV or, you know, movies and stuff like that. But gaming, I'm not, right? But they changed the narrative to it being about, like, how many subscriptions you have and how many people are supporting your service. And it, I can imagine that it was a risk for them that they wouldn't, they weren't sure. Because even though it was a low price of entry, right? They, they, I couldn't have told you that they would have gotten so many like developers and all these other oh, like uh, dudes on board, you know, to 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 the point where speculating now that EA will probably, you know, just put all their games in Game Pass, even though they have their own service. And then it's rumored now that Ubisoft. I didn't see all of that coming. I knew they could have gotten yeah. like. I, I knew they could have got like, yeah, I knew they could have got like some certain de- devs on board that wanted their game to be out there and wanted their game to get more exposure uh, so it could have more legs. But Ubisoft and EA definitely didn't see that coming. So what, this what is a, we, they, they rolled the dice and it That's worked out for them. Well, that well then again, they're old games too. Like you can make money off their old games DLC purchases. Like that, that alone is like a great way to get like secondary revenue. And, so wait, they're and, not like unlocking all the DLC and expansions on these old yes, games. So yeah. yes, they are. Yes. I think it depends on the game. It depends on the game. No, it, it depends, depends on the platform. On, 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 on PC, it they are. 
when it added to PC, it's supposed to unlock everything. It's supposed to. Huh. Because, I mean, like, I, I got a game not, like... Not you know, on console. Not on console, on PC. Because the Xbox version is a little bit different than the... um. Because it's called EA Play, and then it's called Origin Access. It's, yeah. It's kind of different. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, EA... Uh, yeah, yeah, sir, the service yeah. for PC is different. It's, you know, because... You get all the EA games and and they go in day one and like isn't it called like Origin Access Plus yeah, or something like that? Right, or? right. But they plan on app making the console version a little bit more like that though. Go, it's getting ready to get crazy. Put it like that. Jack, you should read these super chats. Somebody dropped a fifty. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm Yeah, ready for the super chat break. All right, let me reload them. Break it all on. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I think it's quite a few. Let me see what we get. Well, you too, most That pony salt. That pony salt. Yeah, yes, pony sir. Salt. Oh, God. All right, here we go. We got a uh, long dong silver. He says, Whoa. that name's crazy, by the way. He said, ask Samuel Eyes would come in handy in Chirac because he's looking both ways. I get it. That's <laughs> uh, War Machine guy says, I just got a PS5 yesterday. Been playing it, and BG, you're right. Astro by Playroom is fire. I got to try that. Underrated, yeah. Right. Surprise. We got a uh, Mr. Oshido. He said, "Kid Smooth, what's a better game? Gears Five or The Last of Us Part Two? Um, Gears Five. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, nah. I mean, no. Nah, in terms right, of the that's, that's a good question. The, the Last of Us. I mean, if it depends on what I'm judging. I mean, Last of Us Two was great. I mean, I give it I to Last. Liked it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got John, John John the Don. He said, if you got the men in black memory wipe, what three games are you playing? Shout out to the panel and General MLD. Check out Jiggy Merch and the Patreon. Yes, sir. Is he yes, asking man. us what games we would remove from our memory? Play, and play a game, play a game for the first time. Oh, oh, oh I thought it was so... Oh, okay. I, I thought looked at it in reverse. Okay. Witcher Ooh. 3 would be probably the number one. That's a good one. Uh, uh, fuck. Metal Gear Solid 1. Oh. Um, uh, prop, uh, Bioshock Infinite. I would do that. Uh, cause that story, who? That story, bro. That story had me going down yeah, that's, YouTube deep that's dives. A good question. That's a good question, bro. Uh, yeah. Bioshock One, Metro Exodus, maybe. Oof. Uh, Mass mm. Effect Two. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. I don't know. That, that's, hey, you know, that's a really tough question. I would pick I might Spec, spec, City. spec Ops: The Line. That Spec Ops is a good one. I, yeah, I, I, for I, me, I might say God of War for, 1, for, 2, and 3, man. For me, it would be true. games that have, like, twist in the story or, like, really intricate stories that you didn't see coming. Because, I, yeah, like, even though I think gameplay is always important, like, it's always, like, the twist in the story that I don't, that, like, really gets you thinking that oh, yeah. is worth, like, you know, be worth, like, racing your memory for. That's true. I'm like, gonna like, go with Witcher Three, Xeno yeah. Gears, and FF Six. All right. Like to experience the "Would You Kindly" twist from Bioshock all over again oh, for yeah. the first time. Oh mm -hmm. boy, right, that was cool. That was dope. Hmm. Everybody went. All right. Uh, yeah. We got a. Uh, what was the question? Smooth. Three games you could play. You could replay it like it's uh, like you don't remember nothing about them. Uh, okay, absolutely. This is um, Gears one, um, <clears throat> over two. In terms, of you do it, the, bro. When I seen those graphics for the first time, running towards a helicopter in that camp, oh no, nah, that sequence, that sequence, it was a different experience. Then. Um, so I would say uh, Gears one. Uh, I would also say um, it was a good game I had like. Ah man, tell us, man. Don't play a lot of good games. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have, I have a dis distinct taste. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say uh, uh, the, the Getaway one, and um, Ooh, that's underrated. Def Jam Vendetta. Ooh, what? Def Jam. Good one. That was a really good game. <laughs> that's a good answer, low key, man. All right. We got a uh, blessed zero one one. He said, "Hellblade and the medium are walking sims. Don't Xbox hate walking sims?" Mm. Oh no 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 no! That's not true at all. That's we, mo we mock them because that's all they have. That there's no actual genre variety. I mean, I know that's not actually true, but it's just how we just tease them. How they're all. Uh, wait, let me see if I get this right. 
third person uh, story driven single oh, player yeah. action adventure. Oh, yeah. Cinematic. You you forgot too- cinematic. I'm not paying Chill attention out. too much to. Oh no, it's that, Alex. That, that doesn't mean they're bad. I mean, we hey, we need more of them our, ourselves. But uh, it's just a, it's just the way we tease them. How that seems to be all they have. Exactly. We kind of give like I I, t- I like my you no know, walking sims like that's that's always been a thing like you know firewatch call of sea what remains of edith fitch the actual walking sims the games like the medium i feel like a, l- a little different games like hellblade like when i first saw hellblade I'm, she has a sword i'm thinking it's, it's a hack and slash and i went into that game thinking that it was a hack and slash and it was <laughs> it wasn't a fucking walking sim. like I, I i'm not afraid to say that but no nah. Hellblade was amazing for me. Like, I, 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 my wife actually like had to see me play the game. She, thank God, she helped me with the puzzles on that game. The puzzles were, I, I, had, no, I had no patience for the puzzles, but the combat was great. Well, yeah, I mean, the con- that, that's the thing though, because I feel like I, I didn't get an opportunity to get used to the combat until like the you know last last part of the game because I felt like it was too far in between. And mm-hmm. like, yep. the thing is, is like that's why I was hoping like with the next game if it's more like of an action game you still keep the elements the little puzzles and stuff like that but i want to be able to swing my sword whenever i want to like there's actually there's actually a dev diary about that uh, the main actress there was a um, there's footage of her using um hand-to-hand combat and different types of weapons too so okay. people are speculating that there's going to be some weapon variety in this game cool oh, that's yeah Speak, uh, speaking of hellblade more. speaking of hellblade captain sidekick donated his- Said Smooth said Hellblade was a bad game on WWP 139 at 30 minutes and 50 seconds into the Damn. podcast. It only gets good if Microsoft buys them. Laughing emoji. Damn, we got to check that out after the Damn. show. I, got... I think he's just uh, doing guesswork, bro. Like, well, be, BG, be, BG, be, BG be, pull it up. We can check. Yeah, you might well be putting up right now. I can read some more donations. Okay. Uh, we what's, got, what's uh, the, which, which one is it again? What episode? He's so 139. Yeah. Like, how do people find this out? <laughs> 139 at 30 minutes and 50 seconds. All right, we got a... Uh, MLB, I've been wondering that for a while. We got... <laughs> how do you pronounce this? Elon Chess? Elon Chess Returns? He says, stop with the we have to wait years talk. Starfield is dropping this year, mm-hmm. early next, and we know it's fire because Sony saw and was willing to pay <laughs> for it. And yeah. straight. Yo, shout out to whoever said that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't, don't let you get your hopes up. You know Starfield ain't releasing this year, no, and you already no. doomed it not to. Yeah. It's possible. It's not. We can't rule it out. No way Halo Infinite is by right. itself this year. At MLB, no I'll tell you why it's impossible. Because Smooth <laughs> bet that it would happen. Smooth oh. has never won a bet against me. I have not bought a game with my own. This month when I buy Gears Tactics will be the first time I bought my own game in three years, thanks to Smooth. Wow. By Smooth right. betting that the okay. game will come out this year automatically means it's delayed. Okay, I mean, like, Todd Howard, he can get, like, all of his studios like to just, like, s- send support staff you know, to really help crunch this game out. It could and, happen. And Sephiroth will launch a meteor into that studio and it will get delayed. <laughs> oh, if Smooth <laughs> bets that it's coming out this year, it ain't... <laughs> By hook or crook, it ain't coming back this it was year. It's going to be a tsunami, a natural disaster, a second coming of the pandemic. Yo. <laughs> the world oh, will not... The, the, all right, so I'll put it to you this way, MLD. I'm a huge Eagles fan. We have okay. never won a Super Bowl. <laughs> Smooth is a huge Patriots fan. As soon as the Eagles got to the Super Bowl and won the NFC Championship, I said, Smooth, I will bet you a game that the pay- that the Eagles will beat the Patriots. He said, sure. I messaged BG not but five seconds later. I said, the Eagles are winning the Super Bowl. He said, how you know? I said, I just bet Smooth. <laughs> okay, I don't know about, this, about the betting history, so I don't know about this. Okay. So, um, Jack, was that all the Super Chats? Uh, we got a few more. We got Nick okay. with Snake, the true antagonist with the big boy $50 donation. He said, if, if Microsoft Bethesda purchase produces new IPs, then it's cool. But if this purchase is just to fill their game catalog with already established <laughs> franchises, then it's a huge L for me. It's Appreciate both. the support. It'll be both, 100%. Because Starfield is new. All right. We got uh, OBJ Jr. He said, since y'all in and early, can we get that TMNT stream today? Sir, sir, the game's the game's not out yet, sir. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we we OBJ Jr. again. He said, uh, "Let me see here. Can you unblock Yoki OBG? BG don't oh, got Tony blocked, blocked, yo. 
Tony's not blocked. Yeah, he's not blocked. He- we got Lucky806. He sent a $2 donation, but he didn't say anything. I appreciate you, my guy. We got Tony Esquire. He said, what is MLD doing in here? Sony exposed and ended your game and credibility two generations ago. This guy's return is sad as watching Sting on AEW. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's not <laughs> nice. Sting <laughs> on AEW? I got me a mean. All right, let me see. We got three. Uh, let's see. We got Tarek Ahmed. He said, 14 year anniversary of the Battle game. Yes, sir. God of War 2. I think the anniversary was like yesterday. Yeah, man. Great game. Great game. Um, Mr. Oshido said, BG, what's a better game? God of War 3 or God of War PS4 and why? BG? I don't think BG said we got that. My bad. Hold on. I was uh, we got audio. What was the question? Which one is a better game? God of War 3 or God of War PS4 and why? Oh mm-hmm. man. Oh man. Um I would have to go with God of War 2018. Um I think because I, I just like the uh the light RPG elements and 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 yeah, that's that's really it. Like God of War 3 was really just like it was it was, you know, at the time it it was fine, but you know, God of War 2018, you have your you, know, you can customize your I was about to call it a loadout, but what was it? runes? Was it runes? I mean, then, it, I mean it, is, it is a loadout. I mean, yeah, runes and and the armor sets and all that stuff. So there was a lot more, uh, you know, RPG elements in God of War 2018 to like kind of like change up how you actually play and how the armor affects uh, the more gameplay and all that. So yeah, it was, it was a lot more variety. So that's why I prefer 20, yeah. 2018. Yeah, I, you know, I y'all know why Jimmy never talks on this podcast. Why is that? Go into your stream and look at this trash he's playing, BG. He's playing the Averagers. Oh, fuck, it's two more donations. Yo, listen, they gave a warning, sir, that you have to level up before. Yeah. He's trying to get to to level right, Bob. What's what's wrong with you, man? Oh, let me see. It's uh, uh, it's actually... I'm trying to make sure I don't miss none. It's actually four more. We got Lone Wolf the Gamer, the last of us. He said, shout out to Shmoove and his only supporter himself. (laughs) <laughs> All right. oh <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of funny uh we got a uh, h-dog game he said bon when are we getting the mld rev and bond reunion show oh i'm down Forget for that about it getting seventh in there too oh Maybe. yeah any seventh level dumar is possibly we, i'm sure we could round up zephyr next maybe samuel to geek uh, samuel to geek oh <laughs> you could find him somewhere Oh. He's actually friends with me on Facebook. What was He's, that dude's uh, name who like y'all always like bullied? Well, that could be a bunch of people. Yeah, but... true set me free. <laughs> no, true it was free? it. It was like this. This he was a young kid, and oh, man, yeah, like, uh, I, I wrote, it, it wasn't no, huge. No, it was like this kid, and it, what did he do? I think he like he didn't have any money, and he said he 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 spent it. The last of his money on a game or something? I can't remember. It was, was a lot of people. Like I got the was loose goose? Yeah, was <laughs> it the loose goose? Huntmaster Flex been. bullied him. On. Oh, Huntmaster it, Flex, the ginger. Oh, yeah, we'll have to get him on. Yeah, it might have been the loose goose. I think it was the loose goose. Might, maybe it was. Get, yeah, he bullied the... him off. He, uh, I don't want to say bullied, but that guy had to go. He had to be institutionalized. Sheesh. Oh, okay then. I don't. The only person I don't know who who's doing is the digital puppet. First there's, prize there's so winner. Many to keep track of. Oh, I I forgot half of them. First prize winner. First person shoot a player. Maybe <laughs> even the best around. Is that the that, all of it, Jack? Yeah, I think oh, General yeah. G got deported. What? <laughs> hey, relax, <laughs> relax, <laughs> bud. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> I used to fuck with General G too. Uh, we got nine point five. We got two more. It says Izzy the Gamer, Bond slash WWP, new to turn based JRPGs. Only have Dragon Quest Eleven S and Blue Dragon under my belt. Any recommendations on JRPGs that are accessible but provide a challenge? Come on, uh, uh, RPG God Bond. That. Let me think about that. I'll get back to you on that one. Oh uh, man, All RPG right. God got to think of. <laughs> well, he and said we got, ac- he said accessible but provides a challenge. Yeah. 
And let's be real, a lot of the best RPGs, you really don't have a way to get to them. Yeah, All you gotta right. think about that. No, like that's that's not an easy question. We got uh we got Lone Wolf. This is the last one, Lone Wolf Gamer Tilu. He says, "Smooth looked like he eat bean pies in back of the toilet." Hold on, what? What's going on? No. <laughs> that's all the all it says, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, today, so I've got the. This is what Smooth said. I'm gonna play it uh, on episode 139. At oh boy. 30 minutes and 45 seconds. I don't know how people find this stuff, but this this is what he said. Expecting uh, State of the K2 to be like that type of hell so far. So, so plain is not that great. It looks good. It's not that great. Overrated. Oh. <laughs> Were you able to hear that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That'd be a st- that's still on par of what I said. Are you still feel like that? He didn't say it was terrible, but he said it's not that good. Is that how you feel about it still? My opinion on it is like it's visually stunning, right? But as a game, I prefer it to be you know more of an action uh, 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 action game. And I yeah, yeah, I, 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 I like yeah. yeah I, I feel like when it was, I, I do feel like when it was like for when people first got their hands on it, it was a bit overrated because by the time I played it, I was like, okay. It's a lot of walking. All right. Oh, there is combat, but it's too far in between and it don't give me time to get used to it. And yeah, and I couldn't. And then the, the problem was the the whole thing having to wear headphones and that shit would fuck my head up. So I would then have to play it like with the TV speakers and shit like that. So, uh, but overall, I mean, I'm looking forward to the my hype for the next one is assuming they turn it into an action game. I mean, I need, that, I need that shit to be the answer to God of War. Yeah, well, the, well, actually, the answer to listen. First of all, you don't <laughs> listen. Listen, first of all, that's that's always bad luck when you say you want something to be the answer to or the killer for anything. Never say yep. that. That's that that's that's always always curses the game. But I, I think like with Hellblade two, it'll be like how Ori, the first Ori, didn't have a lot of combat. Right? It was still a mm-hmm. great platformer. Didn't have a lot of combat. Then they and in Ori two, they added like combat. And these cr- the crazy platforming like out the ass. It was crazy. So I think that's, that'll probably what they what they'll do with Hellblade too. Yeah, yeah we'll, take, we'll take it up a notch. I'd say. Mm-hmm. I got my answer for the last one. If he wants older style games, I would say Final Fantasy four through nine. <clears throat> any of the classic Dragon and Dragon Quest. Final Fantasy four through nine. Dragon Quest four through ten. Actually, I don't even think get 10 because it's online only, but four and up. Those would be good. Chrono Trigger and Xenogears would be good. I don't know how you would be able to obtain those games. For modern games, I would start with Persona 5, Xenoblade Chronicles. And if you're really into that Dragon Quest turn-based stuff, I definitely would give Cold Steel. I would start at Cold Steel 1. Hmm. So, In fact, I would probably start Cold Steel 1 first. Okay, so um, here's so. By the way, Jack, somebody had brought up right that I, I forgot. I don't know. You weren't you weren't in the Discord, right? But somebody had brought up uh, the fact that they said you were actually a Jim Ryan fan before, right? That's what they claimed in the Discord. I ain't gonna say who it was. I think I remember who it was. But they were like, oh, in this episode of Weapon Wheel, Jack actually liked uh, Jim Jim Ryan because we know you hate him now, right? But uh, it turned. It turns out that like they were like, "Oh, go listen to this." We listened to it, and you actually weren't praising him at all. You just you were you were always skeptical about Jim Ryan. So the dude was putting a little bit sauce on it, and he kind of we were like, "Yo, th- th- yeah." So yeah, you you kind of called it like you, yeah. You you said like he ran his division that he was in charge of before pretty well, but you didn't really trust him that much. You you still hate him? I mean, listen, I think he's doing a good job, Jack. <laughs> yeah. I hope he stays in his job as long as possible because I don't, I don't think he's doing a particularly good job. I, I think he's him. I think he's definitely a liar, but I think he's doing a good <laughs> job. He's a liar. He, bro, honestly, man, like if PlayStation didn't have the games they got, bro, like other than that, the news just has been straight. Like if you think about, it, it's really been negative since he's been in charge. I mean, I don't know, man. He got it though, bro. Because, a little dry. 
because to bring this back to Game Pass and this uh, Bethesda and Xbox acquisition, right? So a, a while ago, Jim Ryan said that Sony has some, uh, they'll have some response to how successful Game Pass is, which I don't really believe him, right? Lion Ryan, right? But he says that they'll react somehow. But I'm like, what could y'all do? Are y'all going to like make PS is. Now so much better? Because... I don't. I don't see PS now possibly like rivaling Game Pass, and, and like I don't know what they could do. There's no way they're going to do day one that? exclusives. There's too little no. subscribers. There's too little subscribers on the service right now, so they'll lose a lot of money at retail. Now, but the answer is right there now? on the PS Five. It's right there on the PS Five. It, it's the PlayStation Five collections. That, so that's you think on- they should just keep expanding that. They they're going to. That's the plan. They're definitely going to. But do that. but but isn't the PS5 collections just PlayStation first party games? There's not much to put in that though. No no. They're, no, they're no, going to no. expand it. They're going to expand it. They're going to expand that. One hundred percent. They're going to expand that. Is that, should, is that PS should. Plus? So yes no, the, yes so, PS Plus. Yeah so the yeah yeah so you got to have PlayStation Plus to to access the PS5 collection. Yeah. 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 Yes. Mm. Yeah. Just like just like gold comes with um games pass, so it's it's gonna be the same thing equivalent. I'm pretty sure that's what the answer is. That's what he's talking about. PS now they 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 you know, and I think Jim Ryan was the one that was kind of against PS now when um Sean Layton was more for it. But um honestly, I don't know why PS now is still open if they're gonna get this half assed effort. I, it's dumb as hell. I don't see how you could bring a game like Horizon to PS now for like two or three months and then put it on PC permanently when <laughs> PS now. <laughs> they took it off. PS PS now- they took huh? off Horizon from PlayStation now. They always do that. They'll put their games on there two, three months and then. But the thing is, like, PS That's Now is on PC. It's literally on PC, so PC gamers could experience PlayStation games. But instead of doing that and emphasize, you know, uh, putting more games on a, a service to stay, you just take them off and then put them on PC natively. Like, what the? F- I don't understand the, the mindset. I don't know where they where they going with this. Um, they not putting no type. Of, I should think they should put their. Uh, their lower games, their first day, like Returnal should be on PS now the day it comes out. I don't know how you're trying to charge seventy dollars for that game, but they don't give a shit, man. It's old, bro. Yeah. Yo, Seems Jack, so. I could see them merging those two things. You know that, right? Which one? I could see them merging the PS5 collection and that PS Now. I mean, they might. I mean, a lot of them games were in on um, PS Now at one point in time, but they keep taking them. Like when they put like a game, around, they shuffle it. Yeah, they take it out when people like it. Doesn't it doesn't make any sense? They yeah, they yeah, need to just they should stay. Yeah, it's first party. They, yeah, it should, yeah, why? They, uh, they, I don't they get it. should just. Bro, they should just put. First party it's so many first party PlayStation games that are not on PS now. It would blow your fucking mind, bro. Like no rat. It, it's like two or three ratchet. It's like twelve ratchet and clank games. It's two or three of them on PS now. Like where the fuck are the games at? Hell there's only. More, there's here, more Bethesda right? games on PlayStation now than PlayStation first party games. <laughs> hey, at this point, man, like it's get it's ridiculous, bro. I don't understand their their yes. their mindset. Just uh, they should just wrap up play uh play the PlayStation, um, PS now, uh wrap it up into uh PlayStation Plus along with the uh the PS Five. Yeah, that's collection. what I'm saying. I, I think just wrap it all up, up. Yeah, and for right. for one, you know, for one, one price. price that that everybody just gets it and just put a whole bunch of a lot more games in there. I guess that's I, the best I, they I, could I, probably I, do. I, you know what's crazy? And that price, if they put them together, it will average out to the price of Game Pass Ultimate. It'll be around yep. fifteen. That's why I think it's coming. It's the same shit. Like I don't see why they why they dragging their feet with this. I don't understand. It. They mm. should bring back PlayStation Home. No, no, no. no, no. Get, no. Get, get that get bull crap every- out of here. What the PlayStation Sims? Like <laughs> that was a toxic ass thing they did, man. So was Uno on Xbox, but that shit was lit. <laughs> I heard about oh. Uno. That- Crazy, yo! If you aren't around for Uno for Xbox, <laughs> oh, with, the, with the camera attachment, oh, that's yep. bad. That's bad. Oh man! Hmm. And for that, they should just bring back what's that? The PlayStation Dark, the room. Oh, PlayStation After Dark. That was heat yeah. too. That was crazy. Oh, yo, I remember <laughs> that. People were <laughs> people were getting Wild. in on that literally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jesus. So, here's another question, right? So, on. On Twitter this past week, you know, the statement I made, right, you know, ruffled a few people's feathers. They ain't like it. I said, you know, Xbox being bullied, and I didn't mean this necessarily in a bad way, but like, you know, Xbox being bullied and a lot of the, the haters, I guess, or the detractors are kind of what helped make Xbox 
into what it is now. And it, you can say the same thing for the PS3 going, going, you know, making the transition from the PS3 to the PS4. You know, Sony got they they ass kicked, and you know the PS3 was you know a, a disappointment overall, and they got bullied. And then they designed the PS4 and, and and all those games. We know how that generation went. It was an amazing generation for them, right? And I looked at it the same way. Like the Xbox One generation, Microsoft got bullied. They had a lot of haters and for, for good reason. And I feel like the, the hate is one of the things that caused the turnaround. But some people don't like to see it that way. You know, that's, that's how I look at it. I look at it bullying works. Am I wrong? Was I wrong for seeing it that way? Uh, I think it's right to a degree, but in the end, I, I personally believe that the haters they they they, they just troll, and Microsoft they, they, there's no way they can analyze that. But it's the it's the Xbox fans that like the that want the best. They're the ones providing the constructive criticism that that they could actually <laughs> act on. Not smooth. <laughs> Not so, smooth. Yeah. Well. I, I, I do think that there is some credibility to that. Like again, uh, like people talking shit online. No, no, no gaming brand wants that. So you, you got to squash that. But I think right. it was the Xbox fans that were actually being constructive and and actually vocalizing specific things that they could improve on. That's what I personally believe. Yeah, I agree because you know the PlayStation Three was in that situation at one point too. Mm-hmm. It took a lot of people saying, "Look, oh, we're not trying to deal with this bullshit no more." Because, yeah, like, when you look at, like, Aaron Greenberg and Phil Spencer, they have their, one thing you could say, they have their heir to Twitter, right? And because when Phil Spencer, you know, when he was doing a lot of interviews and answering a lot of questions, like, you heard him say, say that, like, he gets a lot of feedback that all Xbox has is Halo, Gears, and Forza. That's what people, that's, that's, he sees the narrative, right? So people, and, like, there were people on Twitter telling me, like, Oh, they don't care about any of that. They don't see. I'm like, they don't see that. Like, they respond to it all the time. So, I, I get what like MLD is, is 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 saying. Like, yeah, I'm sure they listen to the fans too, but they gotta see the hate and they they gotta know. Like, okay, we gotta turn it around. But some people like to pretend that they don't see any of this like negative negativity. Uh, you know, f- from the general audience, they definitely see it because they respond to it all the time in interviews. Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So yeah, smooth. Um, I just want you to know you did not help get Xbox into this place. You were not one of the Xbox fans or the haters that actually helped this. You, you're not part of that, smooth. I just want you to know no, that. No, no. All I gotta say is I was there when they were down. I don't want to see none no, of you. You weren't. No, shut MLD up. MLD was here when they were down. You were hold over. on. Oh, hold on, hold on. No disrespect to MLD, but him, MLD's been gone for about 15 years, right? So Yo. I'm talking about the Xbox One generation, right? Like early in the generation, while Xbox was down there and it was popping to, you know, the jump ship and shit like that, I was there and I'm still here right for Xbox. So I don't want to see any of these new people not and i'm not this is not mlg i know he's you know an og and a thing but i'm talking about these new cats are going to try to jump onto the fucking bandwagon while it's getting hot nah <laughs> where were you where Sweet. were you that line no nah, we're not doing this and we, we ain't accepting no we ain't accepting nobody back you know what i mean so uh, everybody, uh, everybody, uh, everybody, uh, uh, everybody, uh, uh, you hitting him with that mr you Yo, yeah, you can't come back home. If you jump to the PlayStation, right, in the last three or four years, stay your ass there, bro. Where's the money dancing all up in your videos? Yeah, pay. So, yeah. <laughs> Smooth. Where do you think most of the 360 gamers came from? Uh, uh, well, yeah, I came from PS2. But, exactly. Uh, I just want to say, like, I took a lot of hate back in the day. Like, an insane amount of hate. So I do know what it's like to stand by a brand when it's not like uh, when it's far from perfect, I, I so I'll, I'll just say that. Like no, there was a shit ton of to hate hop towards me. Just tried to hop in here after the three after the three six generation when the Xbox One was coming out, and I was like, "Damn, I chose the wrong squad." <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Because I was, I was a three sixty fan. Like I just wasn't like back then. I didn't know gaming had a thing on YouTube, so I wasn't. I was watching YouTube for fucking music videos prior to during the three sixty. I didn't know there were people actually talking about video games and shit like that but um so but yeah no i'm just saying it's just like you know i'm just i just want people to stay where they at all that shit they were talking they they could keep them in their 70 ass dollars 
Go ahead, keep buying those fucking um um those uh, those half baked games for seventy bucks. First of all, hold on, hold on, smooth. I gotta stop you. First of all, I'm just I'm just I just want you to be careful because we don't know yeah. what what Xbox first party games are gonna cost. We don't know yet. It could it be seventy. And, and and then it two and then two. Are you are you gatekeeping? Sir? You gatekeeping uh, Xbox oh, now? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, when when people talk about PlayStation, right? They talk as if nobody else has access to this shit. Like, oh well, we got this, we got that. The, oh, those are called exclusives. Our, our games are so, worth. Yes, our, nobody does our have games access. Are, to our it. games are worth uh, seventy dollars. Oh, you happy? You paying seventy dollars? Okay, so yeah, I am gatekeeping, and you know when you know when Starfield come out this year. Hey, I, I'm gonna be right there. That's not that coming shit. out this year. No, out that is not year. coming out this year. So you yep. might as well hand me my money now. But here's here's the problem, Smooth. Halo, Halo Force and Starfield. That's what's up this year. Halo here's the problem with your mentality, Smooth. What's the problem? If you're saying you don't want you want everybody to stay where they were, Nintendo yep. would have died with the Wii U. That, 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 no, no, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about People, the PlayStation would have died with the PS3. Uh, no, but, and like, the Xbox will never improve. If you're if you're <laughs> if you're telling people to stay where they are right now, you're telling people no, not. To no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about content creators, the, the YouTubes, the Twitters, all that shit to get clout. Smooth. Who do you think? Who do you think has a huge say in what people buy these days? Content creators. Yep. One bum on Twitch can make a game sell millions. Influence. Okay, my my ask just a compromise. If anybody wants to flip flop and switch over, you, you got to make it public. You got you got to announce that. You got to put them through they some kind do, of, but kind of an in, initiation. No, see, see, yo, yeah, yeah, you know, gang bang. <laughs> mega, bro. <laughs> You, you see what these things, you you see what these people did? These they go on these big ass public service announcement this to, to, to yep. say hey, I got I rid of my PS4, I got rid of my Xbox. You know what I mean? Like, what? MLB, can you just explain to this man that this is just video games? That's not gang warfare. Uh, <laughs> why do you yeah. tell it to the people that did these per- public service okay. announcements? So this is a gang warfare. This kind of event actually happened when Rev and Dumars. PlayStation guys. Oh yeah. Modern Warfare on for the Xbox. Yep. Yep. This exact situation happened, Smooth, that you're talking about. And it mm-hmm. caused the most needless stupidity ever. Like even even El Presidor, who was all PS3, was like, yo, y'all PlayStation dudes are freaking losers and clowns. They at the end of the day, who cares? They bought a game, they bought they're playing on a different console. This crap is just fun. Y'all be taking this shit too seriously like it's the Bloods and the Crips, the Montagues and the Capulets, that once you're committed to one side, you can't enjoy the other side or go somewhere else. I just want them to take their L, B. That's all I want. I just want to see You've been taking L's for eight years. (sighs) Doesn't matter, And and look, and nobody takes an L from saying, hmm, I like Xbox better now. I want to play Xbox. Nobody takes an L. That's a W because they're playing what they want to play. You know who does take an L? People that don't play what they want to play because they're fucking fanboys. It's the guys who bash Xbox all the time, but actually own an Xbox on the side. I will call every single one of those guys out for, for yeah. being a hypocrite. Or, or people that say, hmm, Xbox has what I like to play, but I won't buy it because that's an, it's an Xbox. That's taking an L. Just say Jack name. Yeah, mm. Jack, you taking L. I get him on PC, sir. Hey, oh, hey, that counts too. If you play Xbox first part on PC, you're still part of the ecosystem. But he won't even play a game like The Witcher Three because he's like, "Oh, I've never played The Witcher Two and One." I'm like, "That's an L." Yo, Jack, you want you want an Xbox Series S, bro? If I buy you one, you gonna use it? Uh, S. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 I got him. I, Wait, I hold, 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 bro. I, I know you're not about to be all picky. I'm, I'm offering you a console, and you about to you too good for an S? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> This is why you can't give black people nothing, dog. No, nope. yes, nothing. Yes. What the fuck going on? This is crazy. Pulling a Blandrew. Hey, I got a tax for 1070. Can I get that for free? <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes. 
Shit is crazy. Oh, oh wow. But yeah, smooth, smooth. You're not helping the Xbox's cause by telling people not to buy yeah, Xbox. Bro. Well, well, I'm telling the crumb side, motherfucker, stay where you at, bro. Like that's what that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. All the people on Twitter, you know who you are. All the people on YouTube, you know, you mm. do your your crummy videos, you wish your repetitive ass <laughs> thumbnails and your your your, your dumbass tweets with your shitty ass memes. You know what I mean? I did bro, you, you, you are you are you too, for the next five years. You are no, too hurt I, over this Xbox. No, I do agree with Smooth that like I always found those videos weird when people when people make these grand announcements. I have switched from PlayStation <laughs> to Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Like, uh. yeah, I've, I've oh, always felt that weird. That because every time, first of all, all you you remember, I started repping the PC side early, right? MLB. Yeah, yeah. All all these people that were like, "Oh, shut up, Bond. Nobody cares about PC." Blah blah blah. I'm switching to PC gaming. I've seen the light. Like, shut your <laughs> asses up. <laughs> Thing oh, too, wow. BG. No, I didn't. That oh, wasn't me. I, I never know, hated PC. Know, people, uh, you hate never people PC. make announcements to switch when y'all all made announcements when you got your first rigs. <laughs> oh, I got the I brand know. new 3080, the 1080, the 970. Like, sh- I'm not trying to hear that. <laughs> I am not so, trying to hear that. So, I mean, I can go said- on- I'm about to I'm about to pull up your first build right now on YouTube, BG. You used to ask oh, why, me why do you have files on another man? Leave what are you doing, dog? <laughs> <laughs> about to pull up your first build. Oh, my God, my anyway. First. My my first files. build, the graphics and the frame rates are so. I'm first of so all, I, 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 I just, I just want to point out that technically, since a child, I always gamed on PC. I was playing Age of Empires when I was a kid. I was playing a bunch, oh. a few different games okay, when I was a kid, I'm but so, I. I'm so- I'm but so I primarily started right gaming again. I'm so master race right now. Look at and, my first and, rig. Anyway, so so smooth. You saying no new friends on Xbox? Like no no new no, friends no, can't come. No new me. friends. No new friends. No new new. No no. So what about so what about you know how like no, at your, at your, no new bots. That's a remix. No new. Bots. What about you? What about oh, like gotta make, you got to make that song by the way. So what about <laughs> like you know you know at your job right. I don't know if y'all job do this. I assume most of them do where you got to pick your, you know, your, your medical insurance plan and you could only switch like once, once a year. Can, can you, are you going to let them get, are you going to give them a time where they could switch from PS5 to Xbox? Like, can, can they get Bro, that? Like, what's, I mean, if they're going to do it, they got, they got the, this is, they got this, the new window, the, the, the launch, the first launch year, bruh. Like they got to be, was it 20? They got until November 10th, 2021. So Halo Infinite. Wow. Yep. I found BG. That's the deadline. I found BG's bum ass with his GTX 670, his i7 3770K. I just want to point out that uh, I was mopping up Black Bond on uh, Battlefield 3 on PC. You weren't. You I mopped weren't. that man we, up. Clean. We, we just got, got. I got the mop. Got the mop in the room. Clean him right up. Already have a video proof that you got, didn't. Got but him I right up out of there. But here's the, here's the bigger issue, Smooth. Mm-hmm. Smooth wants to gatekeep the community. You don't want these new Xbox guys. You know what these new Xbox guys do? They all start talking to each other and become bigger than Smooth. Oh, oh man. man. RGB oh. came in and said, lapped, lapped, lapped. MBG was uh, became bigger than everybody. Well, how big is M- how many subs MBG? I, I don't know. I, I don't really. I don't really. Yeah, watch I mean, anymore. five thousand subs. I mean, that because dude's a meat hugger, though. He he is but a meat hugger. hugger. But I'm saying, yeah, well, you don't you don't you don't let the new kids into the clubhouse, and all the new kids make their own clubhouse. That's great. I mean, that happens in every community. Like, but I, I wasn't like. I don't understand what that has uh, anything to do, but that happens to everyone. You know, you know how many times people rode with Zaire and then lapped his ass and left him dry. Like, nah, man. because because that he, he look. First of all, that community got gentrified. Let's just be real. Gentrified. But you don't you don't see guys like Pyro two thousand X. You know when. Here's the issue: when play when people buy PlayStations or when people buy PCs, they get welcomed. They get games gifted. They get welcomed into the oh, uh, do you need help on your PC? Here's some games. Get but when you come over to the Xbox community, niggas be hating. You say, where were you eight years ago? <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference. No, there's no way that's like, where were you? You get checked. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. and, and I'm sorry, Smooth, but when you act like that, it makes people one not want to go to Xbox, but two, if they go to Xbox, even if they're enjoying it, they don't want to talk about it. But that they put themselves in that corner for all that shit. No, you did. <laughs> But a lot of y'all, they didn't put them, you put themselves there because you told them shut up and you can't be the narrative. You can't be a part X, of the club. The narrative is changing. I remember, like you know, Jay Barr used to call it the Xbox stench. You got to call it the Xbox sauce now. The Xbox acquisition <laughs> sauce is real. <laughs> oh come on, guys! Now. Xbox Twitter's pretty positive now. Come on, the tide is changing here. Positive, but yeah. what we're saying, people like Smoove are like, oh, you, you, where were you? You can't come over now. Blah 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 blah. blah. Like if I if I were if you know if if I were to buy an Xbox like tomorrow, start playing it and enjoy it, people would tell me people like Smooth that never even owned an original Xbox would have the nerve to tell me that I can't talk positively about it. Hey, here's the thing, bro. Like, what do you say? Why you now you got to sing Kumbaya, right? Not no Kumbaya. I, 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 came, on, I bought man. it with my own money, and I, and I would enjoy it if I if I enjoyed that. I'm not gonna harass somebody playing on Xbox. I'm just saying, just don't talk to me with the bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, look, look like, smooth. You never owned an original Xbox, so I can't even did, take anything you said. You, you are the doc. You are the Doctor Trey no. of Xbox. Bro, the, the, the original Xbox was what was a a, a four year lifespan. I, I miss much. And? Like, yeah, what? Hold on. I, didn't, I didn't miss much. F- MLB. It's, it's MLB. Backwards compatibility. I mean, I. I have access to this shit, bro. MLB, he didn't miss much on the original Xbox. Do you agree with that? Because okay. I disagree. Guys, to be fair, to be fair with myself, I didn't get an Xbox until my, until the 360. I was actually a Nintendo fanboy and oh. until I, I saw I looked at the Wii oh. and I did not like what I saw. So I went to 360 from there. It's but that said, that it's said it's profits. The, ori- <laughs> <laughs> the original Xbox though had a lot of good games despite its four year uh, d- despite its short lifespan. I, it did have a lot of good games. I'm disappointed so, okay. in all these false prophets now. Hey, 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 like it is what it is. Okay, like uh, I don't like motion controls. Okay, so. and okay, uh, I think we've uh, I think we've covered everything here. I think the I think the moral of today's conversation is, hey, if you oh. if you want to play Bethesda games, get an Xbox or, or get a PC. That's that's or, what or it is. Stadia. You won't be missing out on nothing. <laughs> or a stadium forever, how long it's out. And, and and this is not like 10 years ago where having like being a one console owner was more of the norm. I think you got to have like at least a secondary platform to play on nowadays. Like that's got to be more I, common I disagree. Now. I think I back think, in yeah, the day you I needed more that. than one console. Yeah, more. yeah. It was, like, it was like that back in the day, yo. Yeah. Well, right now, one console gets you li- literally 95% of the games. Yeah, like I got so much to play right now. There's no back no then, back then no, 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 having no. a Super Nintendo. Back then, between a Super Nintendo and a Genesis, if you didn't, ha- if you only had one and not both, you were missing out on a shitload of games. Mm-hmm. Now, like honestly, well, to just to be real about, it, I know like we have discussions on which one is better and which one is worse. If one person had an Xbox and one person had a PlayStation, what's the difference? Ten or twelve games. Um, if we're being realistic, about that. this has got a lot of yeah, but, yeah. It's just the first party difference, really. When you yeah. think about it, like developers back then, but they were making the same game for both machines, but completely different versions for both yeah. machines. I miss the different, all the different types of football and basketball games that were available. You had Game Day, Madden, Blitz, Club. Fever, Club. Yeah, like it was like what the yeah, hell? Yeah, that yeah. is crazy. But, like. I'll be honest with you. A lot of people can say older gaming was better, and I and I can agree. But at the same time, a lot of people don't realize how good we have it in gaming right now. Oh yeah! If I had Game Pass when I was like what twenty years ago, holy shit! This would be this would be yeah. That be that would have been the, the best thing. Oh my! My kids are definitely getting Game Passes. I ain't yeah. buying them motherfuckers games. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. damn. They get no, I said, I said the same thing. I think Game Pass is the best value when you're a parent. I, I'm never buying my, my when I have a child. They're never getting they, a game from they, me. They can play what I buy, but I ain't buying them their own game. Hey, take the, take this Game Pass. <laughs> take this card, this EBZ card. Yep. yep. Um, it's a yeah. No denying that it's the it's the best value, especially when you have kids, man. But I, but I'll be honest, though, if I have kids, I'll probably start them out in the Super Nintendo. 
to learn oh, the basics. Yeah. I, I don't want my kids to turn out like smooth and smooth. not knowing the basics. <laughs> <of games. laughs> oh man, Dude, that was coming. Okay. Um, There's no have... other topics today. No, no. I think we've covered everything, man. I think we've covered everything. Did we, did we talk about Outriders coming to Game Pass, possibly? Oh, yeah, let's just get that. Yeah, let's let's talk about that just for a little bit, even though it's not officially confirmed. Hold on, hold on. why? I was confused about this. I'm like, why is this making so much headlines? Like, I, I is this something I'm missing? Because it's just Outriders, which everybody was like, yeah, it's okay. It's not a bit, you know. Is it because it's come, it might be come come day one? Is that the big deal? Yeah, yeah. And that's okay. that's yeah, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah. So, um. No, no, it's just that typically, you know, people like, oh, you know, Game Pass only gets like old games or none of the big games launch day and date. Um, They only get like indie games and mid-tier games day and date. But this this is, a you know, a game, you know, EA, uh, Square Enix is publishing it. Uh, it will become as a total surprise as we hadn't, you know, was not expecting this type of game. Um, And I think uh, the it, 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 reason why I came because every once a month, uh, the Game Pass Twitter account, they do these like emails where they're leaking a game and it's up to everybody else to try to guess what it is. Um, and all po- signs point to uh, Outriders, which would just be a shock. I mean, if the game comes out April 1st. Um, and yeah, man, I, that's all I said. And the thing, the problem is, I was literally asking the Attic for 30 bucks because I was going to buy the game and you know, we, we game share. I was like, because I'm about to pre order this thing. And then a couple hours later, that tweet come out, and I'm like, "Hold up, <laughs> hmm. Ooh, am I hurting your pockets that bad that you asking people for money?" <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we game, and we're not, here's the thing: we we game when we game share. It's like if if I'm gonna buy a game, I'm just gonna buy a game. But if it's something that we both agree that we want, I'll either send Attic, you know, half the money for it to his PayPal, and then he buys it on his account, or vice versa. So that's just oh how my, we. That sounds like broke language to me. I mean, it, 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 it'll be good because I don't think like a lot of people are going to buy Outriders. So putting it on Game Pass is going to give it some legs oh, because, I, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see like a lot of people buying it. I think that a lot of people will. What What's it competing with right now? I mean, you're right. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, how much? I mean, how much? Yeah. But the thing is, like Outriders is, is very just people Mid. described it as generic. It's like no, it's nothing you <laughs> absolutely need to play. If you don't play it. You're not missing yeah. out on anything. That Bruh, was the thing. People like, are starving for a next gen game right now, mm-hmm. and it's mo- and starving for multiplayer right now. I guarantee you, if that game were hypothetically come out next week, it would do numbers. No, nah, they do. You, but you know so. what? It's smart. Think about it. You put that in um, Games Pass, and a lot of PC dudes will jump on it and stream it. That's I think a lot of people will play it now if it goes to Game Pass. Yeah. But if it wasn't, I don't think yeah. a lot of people will. Right. That's just... But now yeah. I might get some streams and stuff. I, I think it, I, I, I got a I, I got a video idea, but I think it's smart that the, that it does go in the game as because yeah. of even if it's even if it's one of those you know PSN three months deals, it's like okay, you got everybody uh, body in, it's going yeah, to uh, it, it, yeah they might buy it, and, and when it's in Game Pass, you know you get was it twenty percent or is it is it twenty mm-hmm. percent off you get for off the game before it goes out? Yeah, I mean that's that's actually. I, I prefer them to do get the game on the front end than get it later because you actually have a chance of increasing the game's uh, sales, have more impact on the game sales um, at the start rather than later in this uh, cycle. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, yeah, let's wrap this up, Jack. You got? Does any more super chats we need to finish up on? Yeah, let me reload. Yeah, let me reload. Yeah, and me then reload. we're gonna do the outros and get out of here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. All right, I got them pulled up. We got to, let me see what we leave. All right, Tony Esquire said, just kidding, General MLD. Rosen is the new WWP writer passage. I remember your epic truth setting you free battles. Congrats on the marriage, my guy. 100. Uh, Appreciate it. Thank you. Don't worry. I I can take whatever they can dish out. Don't worry about me. All right, we got the Raven flow. He said, receipts. I guess you're talking about what Smooth got caught in his uh, fuckery. Um, we got OBJ Jr. He said, any word on King Thrash on WWP? I mean, we'll have King Thrash on in the future. He's been on like twice before, I think it's been. Yeah, he's been on. He's been on numerous times before. Yeah. Uh, we got Black Star Goat. He said, the gap with the PS5 and Series X in the U.S. is small, uh, small currently if Microsoft keeps up the momentum. Sony might be in trouble. Sony already lost Japan. Hold up. Let me reply to that. Of course the gap is small. Nope. 
it's just starting and everybody's selling everything they're producing. They should practically yep. be even. Yep. This holiday is the real test. Like, pe- do people even think? All right. Okay. We got Bales. Oh, what's up? No, go ahead. No. Oh, all right. We got Bales 27. He said over 750 live viewers. Hit the like button, clowns. Hey, y'all all need right. to hit that like button for real. <laughs> yes. Please, before we end the podcast, please just hit the like button on your way this, out. This is crazy. We used to be getting a thousand. Now y'all not, you're not even hitting the dislike button. <laughs> it's right. we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna start putting in intermissions. Uh oh. I mean, until we hit okay. certain thresholds of likes if this continues. Then we got two more. We got the Raven Flow. He said, to be fair, Smooth wasn't a fan of Play Anywhere in the beginning. He wanted true Xbox exclusives. <clears throat> uh, what's up? No, no, he, he's, he's true. He's correct. All right. We got That's Killer nasty. 305. He said, a perfect example of Flip Flopper that does this for clout is MBG and Crap Gamer. What's going on with Crap Gamer now? Oh, yeah, his latest video. Oh, man. A lot of, like... Th- okay. I, I wonder what that was about. MLD, too. this guy got... This guy used to make game reviews of other people's game footage and not even play the games. <laughs> That's what got what? him notorious. Well, I, I know I did, I did a little bit of homework on this guy. Didn't Phil Spencer shut this guy down in 2015? Yes. Yeah, because he, because oh, I think Quantum, um, break. Was Quantum it? break. Quantum Break was going to PC, and he was like, I canceled my pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I, I prefer he stays where he is. I feel like everything he predicts, the opposite happens. Yeah. So like, He's like Kid Smooth then. Yeah, they call it the Crap Gamer Curse. Yeah, I, b- I believe in the crap curse. He said uh, Sony would buy Bethesda, and look look what happened. So oh, shit, I, I asked him to, to predict that uh, Sony would buy Valve. So <laughs> let's see what happens with that. <laughs> oh, man. We got two so, more, actually. We got Game Addict. He says, Smooth buys 80% of our games on Xbox, LOL, no cap. And we got uh, Bless011. He said, here's $2 to Jack's Xbox Series S. Laughing emoji. No, sir. No, Jack, sir. you're not about to, like, turn down a whole console, bro. You, you got in two Xbox. uppity. Me, BG, you, you, you got money, right? Send me the X, man. What you talking you about? You're acting too uppity. You turning down a $300 yeah. console. Sir, like, you I, forgot, have, you... I have a $1,200 4K TV, sir. I need the X, sir. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I need the X. I need to see that. BG, I need all. Uh, BG, you can send it down here. I'll take it. Uh, bro, upscaling it. exists. Uh, Xbox got an amazing yeah, upscale. Yeah, Jack, you can play Ori at, you can play Ori at 4K on the Series S. No man, I need that. I need that X man. BG got money. Oh. He trying to. He trying to do me dirty right now. I don't like man. that. BG, yeah. send it, you can send that S down here. Oh, you don't need no damn S. What you gonna do with it? Because I got, yeah. I got a thirty eighty. Yeah. Anyway. He gonna he want to stop it out. This dude crazy. No. Man. He won't even play his damn PlayStation. Hey, I beat three games on it. That's what's up. Okay. That's more than me. That, that's I how know, many games I beat on it. So Bond is, is up to date. <laughs> that's how many yeah. games I beat on it so far. Because Smooth yeah, don't play no good games. <laughs> nah, I mean, I did my Miles Morales. I'm, I'm, I'm working slowly through Spider-Man Remastered. I just don't have the juice because I already played the game two years ago. So, yeah. Well, you're used to play, replaying old games. No, no, I'm used to, hey, hold on. Not uh, games that I already played and beat and, and, and like, played a whole lot of. Um, So, like... Spider Man, like I went through it myself, and then I helped my son with it, and then yeah, you know. Hold up, yeah. hold up, stop. How old is your kid? How At the time that Spider Man came out, he was six. Oh fuck that! I wouldn't have helped. I would have let that little man die. But you figure it out. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, when I got get kids, like I'm about to be notorious with them. Like, bitch, you crying? I beat Mega Man at five. I don't want to hear it. Oh, you <laughs> figure it out. Oh. Oh, oh, you crying because you can't beat the game? You, you want, yeah, I'll be like, you want to play some Ninja Gaiden on NES? You want to play some Battletoads on NES? Oh, shit, you want to cry? I'll give you a game that'll make you cry. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, oh, uh, right. notorious on them. Let's do these outros and get out of here. Uh, smooth. Um, it's been a good week for you. Tell the people. Yeah, absolutely, man. If you, you know... Check me out, Twitter, at KidSmooth. Also, YouTube, you know, I'm producing some content uh, lately, so KidSmooth there. Um, yeah, man, looking forward to some more good news uh, next week, and we'll see you guys uh, next weekend. All right, Bond? Uh, what's going on, everybody? Check out my latest video, Microsoft's Last Stand, Bethesda Games will be on Xbox. 
I truly believe that the Xbox acquisition of Bethesda will change things around. But at the same time, if for whatever reason this doesn't turn things around, what the hell else can they do to turn it around? Okay. That's fair. Uh, keep on. Yo, what's up? J Mega Games, man. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Peace. All right. And uh, General MLD, thanks for coming, bro. I just want to say thanks, thank you too. Thanks for having me on. This was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun here. So yeah, to anybody watching, uh, follow me at uh, you know, MLD Ghost on Twitter and uh, YouTube General MLD. Just uh, yeah, just, you know, I've only been doing it for about three weeks now, but uh, no, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. This is great. Nice. Right. And uh, yeah, uh, people who have been noticing that I haven't been uploading a lot of content. Um, I'm gonna probably start like uploading a few videos mainly. I've just been a little upset, you know, Verizon. I don't got Verizon right now. I still gotta wait for it. So I ain't been really feeling like making videos and stuff like that. But later on this year, probably I'm gonna start uh making more videos. There ain't that been that much to talk about anyway. But yeah. And uh that's it. We'll we'll catch y'all next week. Hopefully there's more topics to talk about next week. And we're about to go to After Dark. If you haven't submitted your after dark topics. Uh, you can go to patreon.com right now and do that. And on your way out, please just hit the like button, you know, share out the podcast helps it grow, helps more people to see it. So yeah, at least hit that like button.